Good evening and happy Saturday and welcome to another exciting monthly stream of Saturday Night Vectrex in the Dark. Which is, uh, it's as far as I know, the only monthly Vectrex live stream on YouTube that uh, is hosted by a weird middle-aged guy who doesn't turn the lights on in, in the process of streaming. So we got that going for us. And also I have my co-host here, my son, Mr. Rob Bob. Hello, Rob Bob. Hello. He is far too good looking to show up on camera. So that's why you only look at my ugly mug throughout. Um, yeah. Every, uh, every time I do one of these streams in general, I try to make a theme. Um, the theme for e this evening is simply homebrew games, because why not? I've done homebrew games before on the stream, but it was specific, like only games by Fury Unlimited. Uh, one time I did, or last, or last month we did only the games by Vectrex Academy. So this time we're just going to say all homebrew games, no original games. And that's a pretty wide uh, area. And uh, hello, Stu. Stu is in the chat. He says this is a necktie. Yes, this is the uh, Vectrex necktie app that we're going to watch for three hours straight. Yeah, that's the stream. That's the stream. Um, yeah, but uh, for anyone who cares to know, I do usually stream for about three hours, sometimes give or take. This is like a hardcore marathon thing that I do <laughs> in, in the evenings on Saturday. Uh, but yeah, please feel free to chat. I like to chat with you guys. That's what it's all about. And uh, make requests as well if you would like to. Uh, otherwise, we'll just play it by ear, sort of. Um, but uh, I thought for the first game... Let's see, where did I put the handy flashlight? Here it is. I thought for the first game, I already have, uh, I like, like the colors of this overlay, but I put the protector overlay in, as you can see right here. So maybe we'll start with a little protector, which is actually the name of a game I played on an Atari 8-bit stream that I did on um, this past Wednesday, completely unrelated. And Stu was there watching me and telling me how much I suck at it, if I recall correctly. And uh, Jordan Leitner says, howdy, howdy back at you, Jordan. And Stu likes to make fun of me for not always keeping up with the chat. But why, without further ado, why don't we pop in some protector? protector. So protector is just a uh, knockoff of Defender. And I've only played like once or twice, this particular protector. So I think it deserves more plays. I've always heard it's a very well done Vectrex game. And you know, it is. It tends to rank among people's favorites. By the way, for anyone who cares about a little detail like this, um, one of our regulars, Mr. Vectrexer, Chris Romero, suggested getting a special switch so I don't have to always fiddle with the built-in Vectrex switch because those can uh, wear and tear and die out on you. So this is a cool little thing I got where I plug the Vectrex down into a little outlet that's on the, on the other end of this thing. You can see it's got a cord. And then all I have to do is press this button to turn on and off the Vectrex. I leave it on top of the unit. Hey Ryan, how's it going? Ryan is here, everybody. It's, it's sliding. Looks like it's about to fall. What? The oh. button. Protector and Yazi. It's too good. Ryan and Stu are some of our super regulars on this channel. That means they have very good bowel movements. Um, all right, this is protector. I'm enjoying the soundtrack a little bit. Okay, well, all right. shall we play? Yes. Let's check out the credits real quick. Whoa, <laughs> there's even before, it looks like a CD. Wow, this is cool. And they're like, oh my god, this is impressive graphics. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm like, really impressed here. 3D. Wow. So I think technically all they're doing is drawing these kind of radial vectors from the center. I guess it doesn't matter which one you start with. But, um, I don't know if it does. But, um... Yeah. And they, they kind of, uh... Yeah, they get less dense and more dense. Yeah. And they don't draw where they want to draw the text, essentially. This is so cool. I could probably watch this for 10 minutes. I can't even read the text. Okay. Well, Let's see. Electrics. Ken. Ken. It's showing, it's flipping as it rotates. Yeah. Okay. Cartridge by Mark Ami. Mark Shaker. 
www.vectrex something. Vectrexcarts.com. Cool. And Ryan, let's see, Stu says, just had a good one a few minutes ago. Okay, good to know. And <laughs> Ryan says, Mike Mate, who's one of Ryan's favorite streamers, was playing an all in one gaming console and it had a Vectrex and then, oh, okay. The thing about Vectrex is you gotta just play a real machine. I'm all for emulation. I pretty much only play emulation for old school consoles, but Vectrex is the exception. You can't get the graphics on okay. other so, stuff. Let's say, what are the controls real quick? On the overlay, we have one is reverse, two is thrust, three is fire, four is smart slash hyper. It's a little cut off from your point of view. It's not really necessary to see the game action. Uh, hopefully I can get the hang of that. Let's try it. This is from 2003 by Alex Herbert. And Ryan says he, that Mike even said that faking the graphics isn't really the same. Yeah, I agree. So we're a little bit lopsided here. Let's see if I can fix that. All right, yeah. I've, I've always been terrible at Defender. So I'll probably be even more terrible at this one. But this is cool. It tells you the point scores for each one, Mutant Lander. Do you know the premise of this game, Rob Bob? You're pretty young. Uh, no. I realize you're not seeing some of the lighter vector, less intense vectors. So let me turn up the brightness. Jeez. So, Rob, Bob, this is a classic game from 1980 where you basically are the spaceship and you have to protect these little dudes on the ground, these little people. Okay. And the aliens will ships will pick them up and and then they uh, if it if it kills one of them, it'll um, turn into a really tough to fight mutant. And uh, Stu says, why isn't it the same as Doug? Well, no, it doesn't look the same at all to me. It's just in person that the glowing crisp yeah. vectors look amazing. But maybe you like it anyway. Emulate it too. I don't know. Can you see the mountains at the bottom? It's like so so dim. I guess you can see it a little bit. They're like dots. Yeah. All right, let's just get into it. It's always trouble. It's always difficult to to record after. That's right. You actually thrust with not oh, wrong, but it's hyper base or something. That's thrust. Ah. Yeah, we saved that guy. Oh, we crashed. You saved him and then immediately crashed. Oh, gotta get used to these controls. See, pretty much everything in this game, in Defender as well, uses the buttons except for going up and down. So you don't move forward with the joystick. Do you actually have to dodge? You have to go in reverse. When they explode? When they explode, no. Okay. I thought you, I thought you did. So you have a radar up top, by the way. So you can oh. see where the enemies are. There's one more up here. Okay. And Jordan says truth regarding the beautiful Vectrex. I guess you gotta dodge those, holy crap. Oh. It is always tempting to just hit the thruster real hard in this game, but I don't think it's usually beneficial to do that. Oh. People died, but, but we're alive. Ah, oh, that person just died. How many lives do you have? Probably not too many left. I can think of the top left is a zero. Okay. See that. I want to give it a try, Rob. Bob. Yeah. Here you go. What's the buttons? Yes, it looks like Defender too. Uh, you, you can enter my name as Butt if you want. Did it default to Butt? I guess. <laughs> Maybe it's just what you put in last time. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, we'll go with the Butt. Yeah, there's another Butt. Okay, I guess it was Butt last time. 
or it's a default, I'm not sure which. So this is actually quite unintuitive probably, especially if you never played Defender. So basically you mostly want to keep your fingers on buttons 3 and 2, which are thrust and shoot. And these, what are these? This is hyperspace, I believe, or is it a smart bomb? What are those? It is, um, oh. hyper, it says. And smart. Yeah, okay, hyper and smart, okay. I don't know what they mean, I guess depending on the context. And one is reverse. So I don't think use reverse much. Oh, I was using it a lot, actually. Oh. Every time I turned around, that's reverse. Oh. I'll figure it out. So yeah, this is a total Defender clone. That's why it looks like Defender. <laughs> It's pretty moment. pretty when they when you explode. It's very beautiful when you die. Oh, Bob. I have to watch you die more often. When Rob Bob plays, it's my excuse to fiddle with the camera settings. I, I guess it's actually. A, I gotta agree that this is an impressive, impressively produced game. Focus. I want to do autofocus. Did it. And lost. No, I didn't lose. Still have one life left, I guess. You died no. while, while beating the level. Okay. Because I crashed, Double KO. I crashed into the last one. Alright. I play again. Oh. Okay, that was a smart round. Yep. Person's like, ah! You don't have to catch the people in this game, dude. I don't know. No, I'm thinking of that other protector I played the other day. <laughs> yeah. right, not bad. That was a good, good run there. First, first level. Ah. They're a bunch of squares. It's a very beautiful firework. Yeah, those squares are nasty. Ooh. I never thought I would hate a basic geographic shape before. Until now. Ryan right, says he's trying to charge his Fitbit again. Okay. I'm done. All right, that's a little bit of a protector. Why don't we? Do you want me butt? I'm gonna be Rob. Rob butt. Now, after this, we can play the other game on this very same cartridge. I'm trying to dig up the overlay while you do that. Mm. I realize I need a separate overlay, even though it's the same cart. All right. And the other game is Yasi, yet another space invader. By the way, I forgot to introduce our, our little helper here, our helper friend. He um he's gonna introduce or he's gonna indicate at some random point in the stream. It's completely random. Completely random. That it's time to do a Merry Vecmus unboxing. He's gonna look like this. And when he appears and sings like that, then we're gonna take a break and do this unboxing. And this is my way of extending the spirit of Vecmus all throughout the year. I'm getting low on, on presents though, but these are all packages I've had on my shelf as kind of a backlog. <laughs> and I'm opening them with you guys to share the experience. And I call it Mary Vecmus. Anyway, let's pop in Yasi. Yeah, another Space Invaders. So we need to do what to get to that game? Just hit the reset button, I guess? I guess. I think there was an option at the beginning. That's right, Ryan. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Mary Vec is to all. And Stu says, that reminds me of Donald Trump plays Papers, Please. What? <laughs> what? You've been selected for a random search completely random. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right, let's play some Yashi. So I think this is a game that uses the voice module, but I didn't bother to set that up. So you'll have to deal with no, with no taunts from Alien Invaders tonight. 
align the bars. Setting D. Does it mean press the four button? Oh, left, right to adjust. Okay. One when done. The Y is upside down. <laughs> Look, the alien comes in. It takes it away to repair it. <laughs> that Y was backward. Let me fix that. There you go. All right, let's just play. Plus four to exit. Why does it say it's about levels? You can select levels, I think. There's one to play. Herbs64.com, by the way, Alex Herbs. Two to select mode. Should I play a different mode just for fun? The mode's kind of covered by the overlay. Three to select level. Game mode A. B has guided missiles. C has moving bunkers. This is crazy. D has guided missiles and moving bunkers. Wait, what was the last time I missed one? Cloaking invaders. What? So they go invisible? I guess. Well, what if I want all of these? Because against cloaking invaders, I probably need the guided missiles and the moving bunkers. Well, moving bunkers are actually harder. Yeah. I guess. Probably. But the guided missiles be my missiles? I would think so. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to play with that. Guided missiles and moving bunkers. One to play. Oh, my goodness. Is it, is it yours? Is it Where awesome? am I? There I am. The guy missiles mean they move the missile your shots move with you. Very crazy. Wow. Oh, I was thinking they would like automatically aim. No, no, no. I played other games that had this feature. Like demon attack on television. Rings a bell. Is that almost counterintuitive though to me? I have to remember not to uh, expect my movement to, to, you know, to drag, you know, to expect my movement to uh, to take the missile with it. Uh, Ryan asks me how's high school. How's school? How I just school? started high school, and it's pretty much the same as middle school. <laughs> that was not my experience at all. It was like to me, it was like. I mean, it's a different school, obviously. Whole big new thing. Okay, I'm gonna get this guy. Can I catch it? Uh, no way. I can it's the same speed as you. Yeah. It doesn't feel that different, at least. And Rob Bob is taking a programming class. Yes. So he's gonna make the next Vectrex game in that class. Are you gonna teach us how to do Vectrex games? If only um, Vectrex could run a Python interpreter. Or Scratch. Fast. Yeah, the last guy in Space Invaders is up. Oh, he's freaking... Yeah, they're just teaching us Scratch at first. Scratch. For like the first month or something. And what is Scratch? I don't think everybody knows what that is. It's like coding with blocks, basically. Look at this, you can actually... I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier, but you can shoot and then duck behind the bunker. Yeah. Like that's what I... That's the first thing I thought. Oh, well, you're smarter than me. <laughs> It's kind of hard to do when they're moving, I guess. No, it's nothing like Space Invaders. <laughs> the bunkers are moving. How could it be Space Invaders? Yeah, hey, take that, your UFO. Yeah, I actually played both um, a game called Protector the other day and a version of Space Invaders the other day on my Atari 8 bit stream. History repeats itself, man. I see chat going on, but I can't really glance at it. So Rob Bob's gonna read it all. Ryan says, it's totally different. This is vector graphics. <laughs> the funny thing is, in this case, they were actually trying to... Emulate em pixels. Right, emulate pixels, or like a raster display. So, what they're doing is actually drawing what, what I guess Alex Herbert did, was draw basically a bunch of small vectors to, to simulate pixels. Pixels can't seem like vectors. Yeah, I missed that. But vectors can seem like pixels. Oh, there is. Yeah. That's why you can do vectors both. are better. You can go both ways. <laughs> oh. But, um. What was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to say. It's bothering me. Never have that happen in your to say something and totally, okay. totally forget and that's all you can think about is what I think. I 
we could just get an extra life. But yeah, it's impressive the work that Alex Herbert did on this game. And I bought this, by the way, from Pack Rat Games. Pack Rat Games sells you nice packages of homebrew extracts games. And, um... The only thing I don't like about them is they don't include the overlay. To me, it would be nice to get... I know it would probably be very expensive or whatever, hard to produce. But just to get everything in all in one physical package would be really nice. You have to like, get the Vectrex overlays from elsewhere. Such as, um, Sean Kelly's site. Or Stephen Cray, he makes homemade ones. Very low, look at this. Oh yeah. You just get the bottom of the problem. Uh I guess it's not a bad idea. I usually go by columns. Yeah. Very nasty. Oh, I'm oh. dead. I think that's it for me. There's not much time to react, I guess. And Stu says, it's not a game that benefits from vector graphics. I mean, the fake scan lines are ridiculous. I mean, sure, it was almost like, part of it was maybe like a novelty. But also, there have been previous attempts to make Space Invaders with more vectory graphics. And they were generally considered, I don't want to say bad, but not as good as this game. Um, there's, it's called, I think one of them is called Vector Vaders. And I think each invader is only like a, a V shape, so it's not really that good looking. Um, and Stu says that he's drinking Sun Kissed. Okay. If I don't read everything Stu says, he'll get mad at me. So I'm going to. But he did mention he took a he took a bowel movement earlier. So just so everybody knows. I think. <laughs> Would you um, like to try this? Yeah. I don't think vector graphics are very good when it's like you're trying to make something solid. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, yeah, somehow it works for this game just because it looks, to me, so similar to the arcade game. Yeah. Right. But, um, and there's no flicker, it's which is impressive. Okay, yes. I mean, you guys watching might be seeing some flicker, but that's just the display, you know what I mean? Oh, I figured out the... Oh, sorry, four. Okay, I died one. Did I say one? No, you didn't say anything. Which mode are you playing, by the way? Uh, I think just default mode. No, actually, no, they're moving. Okay, I'm playing the same mode that you were. Okay. While you play, I'm going to try to find another game to play. But as always, as always, requests are welcome. And of course, we have to do iCyborg at some point. iCyborg is my Vectrex white whale, and I just need to beat it someday. I haven't gotten there. I've only gotten to level, um, I think level 3 of 4, or 4 of 5, or something like that. And I just love it so much. It's a suspenseful game, slow paced, but it takes good timing and reflexes, and it's it's a blast to figure out. It's kind of a puzzle element to it. We do Spike gets squished at least once today. Oh yeah, Spike gets squished. How about that cowboy game frontier? We played one. Am I locking your view? Sorry. I'm dead. You're dead. I started out with one less life because I died at the very beginning. Want to go again? No, that's fine. Should we take a quick glance at Vector Vaders, actually? I think I have that wrong. All right, we'll, see, we'll, see, we'll just see a comparison of what it looks like when you try to make Space Invaders with Vector Graphics. <laughs> mm. That doesn't mean it's going to be horrible. It's just I think in general, uh, Yassi is considered the better. 
as a chew. There might have even been multiple versions of Vector Vaders. Where, where do, where's uh, Chris Vectrex here when you need him? He's like the walking embodiment of Vectrex knowledge. And he's a nice guy too. All right, let's put in the Vec Multi. I think I have Vector Vaders. Um, it might be under this All Good Thing. This is made by um, John Donzilla. I think I'm saying his name right. And I think it's like a package of multiple games in one. All Good Thing. John Donzilla proudly presents a Starfield. All good things. That means you have to stop playing this game at some point, because all good things come to an end. This is from 96. You don't really hear much about homebrew games for old consoles back in 96, but here we are. Rockeroids. Oh, I remember this one. I think. I don't know. Switch. Huh? Okay. Did I just start Rockeroids? I guess so. Is it just Asteroid? Yay, Rockeroids. <laughs> Okay, I don't want to play Rocket Rides. <laughs> and Jordan says, Vectrex are gone, always a go-to. Sure, I can give that a try. It's from the year zero, by the way. I'm trying to find this Vector Vader. Is there. I think it's on this. All good things, blah, blah, blah. Just don't want to hit the wrong button and start a game again. I want us to play anything but one. More invaders. This must be the, the sequel to Vector Raider. More, va more invaders. So let's try that and we'll see what a Space Invader game looks like when you try to make it in more true, so to speak, vector graphics. And I haven't played this, by the way. Oh, yeah, I've just heard be... it's not that good looking and it's flickery, though. Yeah, it's, I guess that's, that's the proof right there. <laughs> and you can't even see the uh, bunkers get damaged. Did they not even get damaged, maybe? What is it doing there? That the... Is that your shot? No. Is oh, that the UFO? UFO? I didn't see the UFO. Maybe it's covered by the Yazi up. Yeah, maybe. So the overlay has a kind of opaque area up top where it says Yazi. So yeah, it looks it's... like it's lighting up yeah, in yeah. the back. Yeah, I see it's it. It's getting covered. I Here, I'll take it. it off. Take it off! Not as good in white. Oh, look at that. The, the bunkers, they fade. Look at that. Oh. That's how they, they're doing it. That's how they're handling the damage. Yeah, that UFO. Yeah, I think the way that Yasi handled this is better. Yeah, I agree. But this is, this is bad in its own right. It's just... Not as bad. <laughs> it's less satisfying seeing these V-shapes. Yeah. For one thing. They don't look different. Well, that's really bright. Look at that. Yeah. The UFO shoots these really bright shots. That's pretty cool. You're pretty much out of bunker now. Yeah. Why is the UFO always so loud compared so to everything? Slow. Can we get it? Oh, I missed it. Okay, I really just wanted to kind of show this game. I'm not sure if I want to play it. Gopher Bobs. Hey, Gopher Bobs. How you doing? And let's see, uh, Ryan says that 96 was a year after he graduated. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. And Ryan also said, that I don't know if I knew Vectrex back then. I didn't hear of that until I, yeah, definitely after I graduated high school. <coughs> anyway, Gopher Bob says, what style of game does the Vectrex need that hasn't been done yet? Ah. Ryan says a good pinball game. That's true. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the one, the original pinball game isn't really that great. That's our, both our opinions. <laughs> um, I mean, I could think about it, but... Now, there is actually, um, well, there's a cable you can use to link to Vectrexes, and, but there's only, like, a couple of demo games for it. It's called a, uh, a Veclink or something like that. So imagine you had um, any kind of game where you would want to have separate displays, like, kind of like a modern network kind of game. Maybe something like that. The demo game is, is like a Berserk 3D first-person shooter kind of game. It's based on Berserk. It needs Doom. It needs Doom, exactly. I think somebody actually experimented with a Doom-like game. Anyway, what are we going to play? Uh, Jordan said Vectrex is always a good go-to. All right, let's try that. I don't, I don't think I've played that much. Do I have the, uh, the cards with that? 
Oh, I have release. It's, it's something else, right? Yeah, release is something else. Yeah, I don't have Victrexagon, but I probably have the ROM on this. Um, ROM cart. Hmm, Vectrex. Hmm, could be with a lowercase v. It sorts it stupidly. Not stupidly, it's just... You have to realize that the lowercase are all after the caps. I don't think I have Vectrexagon. What is wrong? Wait, is that in like a, a bundle of something else? Like Vecmini or something? I don't know. I might not have it. And uh, Gopher Bob said, also says Berserk Arena. Yeah, it's a 3D game where you use the link. Exactly. Okay, um, Smash TV music. <laughs> Space Force. So, yeah, I think I have to punt on that one. But um, why don't we play something else then? How about... I just passed something I kind of like, but I it, it's eluding me now. Um... Why don't we try right over Vectrexia? I've never played that. Okay. Can't need a random overlay. Random overlay, this one looks like this. It's from Xantis. I don't know if this is very appropriate for the game color wise, but hey, what the heck. Loud. For best experience, adjust brightness until center star is barely visible. And I'm not going to fiddle with the brightness. But this is based on Raid Over Moscow, which um, I never really played. I think I had a copy of it for Commodore 64. And I watched my like brother play it a couple of times maybe, but I uh, don't think I've ever played it. But you're basically a helicopter, top-down view, shooting things, I think. Factory placement, standard or random? Uh, I guess standard. You are at war. Find and bomb all factories until destroyed. Okay. Uh, let's figure out how to fly a helicopter now. One is to go up or down. Four is pause. Okay. And then one is to resume game. So don't, you don't press four twice, apparently. Here's our radar. Look at that. And I can't press two. I'm not authorized to do that. So there's no shoot? Oh, is that a bomb? Oh, okay, bomb. Okay, two is bomb, but sometimes it said not authorized for some reason. I guess I have to go up. It's, it's pointing upward on the map. I'm getting a ton of flicker here. Let me see if I can fix that real quick. Might just have to deal with it. The game itself is kind of flickery. Let's keep going up. I guess that the carrier that I was launching from. What's the radar button again? Where am I trying to go? Are those dots? In that case, I'll just go east of it, I guess. Ah. Take that. Bomb release. Did I get it? What's going on? Boat attacking carrier. Oh. Are you dead? Okay, yeah, this is, uh, it's not just the, dis the recording that's very flickery. The game itself is very flickery. Okay, we gotta bomb these guys, I guess. Not authorized. I'm not authorized to bomb them. What am I supposed to do then? I guess when you're close to the carrier, you can't bomb. Mm. Come on, get him, get him. You gotta get ready. You, know, you have to get used to the lag time, apparently. Probably too far ahead. Oh, come on. Uh, meh. You even supposed to destroy that? I think so. <laughs> I can't go fast enough, though. Alright. I think I'm, I'm me getting killed. Wasn't she Ra? From Vectrexia. Yeah, Ryan. <laughs> exactly. That's total canon. Okay, there's some trees. What's the little diamond thing? And Jordan said, you can download the file or it was released by Packrat. Yeah, uh, that's right. I can do that. 
I'll have to wait till next time, though, unfortunately. There's an arrow at the bottom. I know, I just... I guess I should follow the arrow, I don't know. That's a carrier. Okay, the arrow just takes you to the carrier, that's probably what it is. Okay. Alright, so let's go north and shoot things, I guess. Ooh. Wrong button. <laughs> I keep dying. Yeah. Alright, this game is hard to play, it's very flickery, so I think I'm gonna skip it now. And I'm dead anyway, so. <clears throat> okay, I'm apparently bombing things totally wrong because I got nothing. I didn't shoot down anything. <laughs> but that, that was a gunboat that you're supposed to yeah. shoot down. Well, it's cool that this exists, though, so, um, I guess. <laughs> Eternia says, right, yes, Eternia, not, um, not Victrexia. Uh, as long as they have, no, I don't want to play Xantis, I don't think I like that game. I was going to say, as long as they have the Xantis overlay and I can play that. But I think it's a game I don't like. <laughs> well, what shall we play? We have Ripoff right here. No, that's an original game. Revector. Present Drop. Patriot has always seemed pretty cool. I think I played it once. Shall we try Patriots? Okay. All right, we're going to use this um, Frontier overlay for Patriots, even though it probably doesn't make sense. But you do have a sky at the top. So Patriots is basically Missile Command. And there's the Patriots 3, which is uh, a more recent revision, I guess. What is Quartz's Quest? Quartz's Quest is, um, I think it's an attempt at an RPG for Vectrex, actually. Let's try Patriots 3, though. Patriots 3. This is also by John Donzilla. Digital or analog mode? Classic games never die. They only take long naps. Then resurface on eBay. Then resurface on eBay. So I'm trying to change my shutter speed, so bear with me a moment. It's always good. To, so please don't push the whole table. What are you doing? All right, let's try some Patriots 3. In analog mode, since I have an analog stick. Oh, we're going too crazy. Okay. Mm. Analog mode is not easy. <laughs> it's just very sensitive. Size bonus. Can't go right anymore. I think I'm out of my, my right most missiles. Take that, you plane. How dare you fly? Wow, that's loud. Is it too loud, guys? Okay, I made it a little lower. Thing. Oh no, the thing's dropping bombs. Oh. 
Damn. The UFO. Just avoids you. Look at that. Oh snap! It's nasty. Matter shots. Wait, I have something. Oh, I'm, I've been only using two of my three cannons. Okay, that's different. That makes a big difference. And Ryan's Fitbit has started. All right, awesome. Did you get a new one, Ryan? He's been using a different watch. Good to know I have three can. I mean, <laughs> I should have known that because that's how it works in Missile Command, but for some reason it didn't occur to me. No! Not patriotic enough to be good at this game. Oh, when you run out of missiles, everything accelerates really fast. Oh man. And Ryan says, I high recommend of the Garmin Instinct 2 Solar. Amazing. I've heard good things about Garmin. Game over. In fact, Garmin was recently throwing shade about Apple after their <coughs> latest I uh, Apple Watch announcement. Would you like to try Patriots? Sure. Okay. Give it a try. So, basically, it's the leftmost cannon, second uh, one in the middle, and then this is the one on the right. Okay. It's one, two, three. Maybe we'll play Forces Quest today, guys. Okay, so this is left, right, middle. left, middle, right. Left, middle. Okay. We have a two by two arrangement of these buttons that we have on this joystick. It's a homemade joystick from uh, Victor Marlin in the UK. So sometimes it's a little unintuitive. You know, if the game is laying the mouth logically, like one, two, three from left to right, and, and we actually have to go like diagonally, one, two, three. Wrong <laughs> button. Let's pull this button, yes. Did I miss that one? I got a bunch of um, clear plastic printer sheets. I, mean, I thought maybe I would play around making my own overlays. I saw a guide of how to do it too. And Stu pasted a link to cytronic.bigcartel.com or something. I'll have to click on that later, perhaps. Hopefully not sending anybody to a, um, a drug cartel's website. Are you dead? Oh. You have no city, so I think you're dead. Yeah, I think so. Game over. Game over. Missile Command always had some dramatic um, game over screens. And Sue says he's, the link was for an officially sanctioned prequel to Minor 2049er, new for the Commodore 64. Wow, that's awesome. I like Minor. Minor 2049er. I'll have, to, I'll have to look into that. So I thought maybe I would play, uh, I love they have the, the overlay in for this game called Frontier. <coughs> Why don't we play Frontier? We played this before. We did like an unboxing live. Should we play do this game like seizure mode? Nah, probably somebody would actually have a problem with that, so <laughs> not a good idea. Strobe light mode. Anyway, here's Frontier. We did, yeah, we unboxed this on a recent stream. We only played it that one time. It's Frontier from um, the Vector Republic. I agree, Ryan. Ryan says Minor 2049er is a great game. 
And as you said, available either digitally or physically on either cartridge, disc, or USB. Huh, USB. I would probably take cartridge over disc if I had the original hardware. <laughs> unless, you, unless there's like save files involved or something. Ryan says, the first Saturday of every month, I gather the family around the hearth and we sing Vec, Vec Xmas carols. <laughs> Vec to Republic. Here's our glowing cowboy friend. Hello, glowing cowboy friend. Yeah, I know we played this. I don't remember how it played. Oh, yeah, it. I remember this. Sheriff versus Bandidos, Outlaw Hill, or Townsfolk Gallery. I think this is just like things you unlocked. Yeah, we unlocked that one guy. Let's try Sheriff versus Banditos. How does this play again? Did you shoot them? Was that a friend I wasn't supposed to shoot? I don't know. Yes. Ah, oh, they're all shooting me. There's a vulture in the sky. Oh, these games always have something flying overhead they have to shoot. Okay, I'm gonna shoot that vulture. Oh, I was hoping it would die dramatically. Actually, yeah, that's one thing that this game needs is a lot of dramatic deaths. People falling over and stuff. And the vulture not just disappearing, ideally. It's like fall to the ground. Yeah. I think your friend died or something. I shot him, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try not to shoot my friend if he's alive now. Wait for it. Oh, yeah, this. Yeah. Should just shoot the okay. four. Not shooting that person this time. Maybe the vulture is gonna poop on my friend and it's kill him. A random person walking around a gunfight. Yeah, well, what's this person doing? He looks like an arrow. Dynamite! Oh. Yeah, I saved Annie this time instead of killing her. I think it was a different friend before, right? I don't remember. Not sure. I didn't, they didn't get to see it. You shot him. Shot him too fast. I was like, I sh there's a person. <laughs> I better shoot him. <laughs> That's how I react to people in real life, too. Yep. For some reason, the way these overlays, everything get, glows a lot. So it, it, this is like, even with, a, with my camera set to not let in much light. So I'm going ultra low with how much light I'm letting in there. Wait, right, is it go. dirty or something? Or is it just how it is? No, it's just how it is, I think. Okay, we're gonna draw. Yeah, fifty dollars for shooting that guy. Cool, I should shoot people more often. Yeah, it's a different guy this time. And he's Watch actually out for the dynamite. I think he's actually shooting. Or maybe not, I don't know. Dynamite only shoots diagonally, it seems like. So you don't have to worry. You can be as close as you want to dynamite as long as you are uh Horizontally or vertically aligned with it. No, it didn't go diagonally that time. Oh, I didn't. I wasn't looking. It went horizontally. Oh, okay, so it varies. Got a big gym here, their friend. Shot that vulture in the neck and it's fine. Oh, did I get shot? My friend got shot. Hope oh, I didn't shoot him. I'm pretty sure they can't shoot them, but I saw. Dead friend. Yeah. Alright, Ryan says just like in real life it's a, regarding the dynamite, I guess. Everyone in your chat should go get dynamite and blow it up right beside Ah <laughs> Yeah, go for it, right? But we're not liable if anyone decides to do that. <laughs> if we have to, you have to sign a disclaimer first. Watch out! 
Watch out, friend. Oh, oh you get... I'm dead. Did you die? Die on level five. This is just like Law of the West, right? <coughs> Wanna give it a go? Yep. Oh, there's two players. Outlaw Hill is two players. I think we played that last time. I don't remember how it plays. Just, I, don't remember, I don't think it was good. You know, it wasn't good. But do the Sheriff versus Bandito. That's pretty I think you only use the button four. Yeah. Check right here. Oh, you can actually... um. Okay, one is shoot left, two is shoot straight, three is shoot right, and four is shoot. I'm only using shoot. Uh, I'm pretty sure those don't work. Might be it for the other game mode. Oh, you I shot, shot your friend. friend. <laughs> yeah, I think I wasn't supposed to shoot. You shot your amigo, not the bandido. I'm gonna make a camera adjustment while you play. So really, just to show you what I wanna do really quick, don't start yet. There's blue at the top, but I actually have the camera kinda of low and angled upward, so you don't see the vulture in the blue from down here. So I'm just gonna try to what raise it. Uh, four. When it says draw. Try to make the camera angle a little better. So far, the, the drawing seems really easy. Yeah. It's not like you need lightning reflexes. But maybe as it gets harder, you do. Here, now we can see the blue at the top, at least. <laughs> For what that's worth. Let's go even higher. Hmm. Okay. And Ryan asks or says, this must be way different to program far than any other system that I'd imagine. For vectors? So yeah, uh... So what you do is you basically, um, and, you know, I just only, I read about it a little bit and meant to get some projects done, but I didn't even really do that. But you kind of draw one line at a time, like connect the dots style. And it's like, you imagine you have a invisible pencil at a certain point and you draw relative to where that last point is. And once in a while you can reset that point if need be. That's right, 6809 assembly. So the processor is called 6809 by uh, Motorola, I believe. And um, yeah, if you want to get really shot. fast and optimal code, if you know what you're doing, you would use assembly language. Otherwise, C, C is still pretty low level and you can get it really fast as well, actually. But for hardcore stuff, you might need assembly language. You want to try out Law Hill? Yeah. Even we remember not liking it a lot. <laughs> Actually, I can't remember it at all, but you're saying. I just remember not liking it. I don't remember. Well, let's just try it. We're shooting each other? Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, this is where you use those three buttons. Okay. Hold on. I forgot <laughs> the controls. <laughs> kind um, of a gunfight. My controller is actually worse. That's why I'm losing. Okay, sure. Why'd you shoot that poor innocent vulture? Yes, I win. Okay. And uh, let's see, go for Bob. Have you pr played with Vectrex programming yourself? He seems to know some good detail about it. He says the biggest difference is unlike Raster, you must draw 50 times per second to get a nice image. Huh. Right, I'm gonna try Sheriff versus Banditos one more time and then we'll move on. Okay. I wonder if it's better to shoot the banditos there near your friend. I don't think they can shoot him. I think he just... Yeah. Oh, they both through. go through them? I just have to not shoot him myself? But I think the dynamite can. Oh, okay. I saw the dynamite get one of them earlier. There's the dynamite. Oh, no, I shot my friend. <laughs> my poor friend. <clears throat> oh, cool. Yeah, I've downloaded that and played with it a little bit. It's really crazy. 
So he's talking about, uh, Gopher Bob says, yes, Malden Zvide is a fantastic tool. I don't know if it's pronounced Zvide or, or Vida or something like that, but it's a, an IDE, which is an integrated development environment, basically meaning a fancy editor used for programming with a lot of tools built into it. Is it IntelliJ? Yes, IntelliJ that you practice Java on is an IDE. So this, this guy, Malden, who's like the god of Vectrex programming, or one of the gods, <laughs> he made this whole development environment for it. And that IDE is actually built in Java. For what that's worth. So you can run it on multiple platforms. You could easily run it on, you know, Mac, Windows, Linux. It's basically the same in each. I'm really good at killing the first friend and saving the second one. Hopefully I'm not speaking too soon about saving the second one. She was awfully close to dynamite. She picked up the dynamite. Did you see that? What? She picked up the dynamite. She <laughs> yeah, ate I saw it. that. I saw that. She, she feeds Eat on the dynamite. dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the second like, whoever liked it. They see the, like the bullet flying towards them and they just give up. Yeah. They don't bother to shoot. Maybe it's slow motion, like bullet time. Yeah. Get away from the dynamite, dude. the dynamite. No, you got no. hit by the dynamite. Then your hat flies off. Something I can do, though. Can I shoot the dynamite, actually? Maybe. Wait, he picked it up. Maybe I could pick it up. I mean, any any girl picked it up before. Walk towards it. Well, what, if it's a close one, I'll, I'll try to pick run it Run towards the dynamite. <laughs> I'm not going to run towards the dynamite. Yeah, I'm going to try to grab a dynamite that's near me next time. I can't hit any... Of the, anyway. Shoot. I think you get a multiplier of points if you don't miss for a while. So you have a times five at the top. Oh, uh, yeah. You can get it. Yeah, you can yeah. pick it up. That's cool. You like put out the fuse, I guess, or something. Yeah, maybe. Or you eat it. Or eat it. Oh, it's too late. <laughs> too late. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be too late. I was like, I have enjoyed, but I had to go for it at that point. All right, that's a cool game. That's Frontier. All right. So, what the heck are we playing now? Should we go for um? I had an idea and I just lost it. Uh. Vector Blade? Did you play Vector Blade at all? Vector Blade is by Malvin, who uh, Gopher Bob just mentioned made the IDE for Vector. And it's pretty much the... I'm trying to pick my right choice of words. I won't say it's necessarily the best game for Vector, but it might be the most advanced in terms of production and having uh, a lot of advanced features to a game. But, you know, you could also say that for um, Christoph Tut's games like Vector Pilot and Vector Patrol. So I would say definitely top five in that area. Just being an advanced game <coughs> for the Vector. Here's our little cart. Vector Blade. And this is based on a game I had never heard of for, I believe, Amiga... Um, and I can't quite remember the name, but it has Blade in its name. It's something like Thunder Blade or something. That's not it. But, but uh, this version is Vector Blade. And uh, let me dig up the overlay real quick. Here it is, we mostly have um, red with some blue at the bottom, basically. And some cool little art of spaceships and things like that. Vector Blade. You can see the reflection of your chat, guys. So let's pop in the Vector Blade overlay. 
And this game was highly coveted. Like, there were pre-orders and people were getting angry that they couldn't get in the pre-order queue or something like that. Like, they weren't one of the first, I don't know, 100 selected people or whatever. And it's getting a little crazy. It was like people at, you know, uh, Walmart or whatever on, on Black Friday. They all wanted this vector blade game. Who can blame them? And I remember Malvin writing a blog post that was like a little disheartening. Like, People need to be respectful. Come on. <laughs> Here we go, Vector Blade. Hey, Brandon, how's it going? Brandon says it's on the pie track, which is nice. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. Okay, I'm going to make the brightness. I don't think I've seen this. Make the brightness adjusted. This is my camera, how much light it lets in, not the Vector Tracks in the brightness. Let's enjoy the intro. And I'll take a glance at the controls. We have fire, bomb, pause, and fire. That's one, two, three, four. Fire, bomb, pause, and fire. Fire, bomb, pause. Airplane tube music. All these Chris people. Chris R, that's our friend, uh, Vex Trexer. Yeah, so many Chris's in this scene. In fact, this guy, he's also a Chris. Uh, Malvin's real name is Chris. And I assume that guy's real first name is Vectrex Rolly. Vectrex Rolly, he changed his name. Alright, uh... This is your desktop. From here you can enter the game. Use the joystick to hide a section you'd like to enter and press a button. Pressing one will show a short help text. Wish you a nice vector blade. Oh, yeah, that's right. What do I want to do here? You have this like, high scores or something here? It's like, it's like one, two, three uh, in boxes. Tools or config. Scroll, which is to read something, I guess. And up here is probably the game itself. Let's check the one, two, three first. There's my score from probably the one time I played. And under that, we have Malbin, Tom, and Vitek, which are just dummy high scores. <laughs> Alright, let's try this scroll thingy. Achievements, okay. Triple win, get triple shot, reward nothing. That's the one achievement I got, I guess. You can change the difficulty, the mode. Oops, what did I do? Did you change the difficulty? No, I pressed the help thing. Whoa. Difficulty 1 through 11, but why does it say easy as well in addition to that? See that I can change it from 1 to 11, but there's easy as, as well. Mode, normal or hardcore. Hardcore. Calibrate. <clears throat> is your Vectrex a buzz or no buzz? It's a buzz, but what is, is it going to try to like cancel the buzz? Straighten this text. Make me. Whoa. I think it was pretty straight before. Yeah, I think I messed it up. I'll just adjust the camera and now it's straighter, right? <laughs> High score, straighten this too. Ooh, yeah, I think it was good before. Ah, I messed it up. <laughs> That's pretty good. Calibration, what am I doing here? Square. Okay, I guess it's how big you want this, the play area to be get really huge, but that would be ridiculous. I guess like this. I can do a little more. Problem is the, the overlay obscures some of the corners, so I'm not sure if I want that the square to be covered by that. I guess not, so let me shrink it a little more. It seems small if I do that, though. I'm just yeah. going to go a little bigger, like this. So, let's see. Gopher Bob says, I kept trying to beat my own score until it, I hit the random diamond storm. Oh, I don't know what that is. And got the score so high, I don't think I can beat it. Oh, I guess the Diamond Storm gives you a lot of points, or at least the opportunity to earn a lot of points. And Ryan asks if you like Gladiator movies, too. Who said it was from Battlestar Galactica, though? I don't think it was me. Because I don't really know that music, though. Calibration, what are we doing here? Okay, we're, we got like a little sample ship, and we're trying to get it to look symmetrical, I guess. <clears throat> hmm, I guess like that, I don't know. Uh, Alex, what is 
And I'm just going to mess it up again. Okay, we'll go with that. That's the guy from Sinistar in the middle, I think. <laughs> Okay, now we just play. Ready Player One. I know that book. And so it begins. Oh, are my controls again? Oh, it's mine. Figured them out, I guess. Yeah, this guy's stuck to me now. I take him like. What is. In Galaga, except I, I take them on my side. It's like the reverse fire, guy. Bomb. Uh, pause and fire. That's pause, okay. Pretty much I just need fire and bomb. So bomb is two. Yes. Yeah, so I use the Galaga style tractor beam to make them mine. They come from the sides. Give me that five dollar bill. Oh, I think I missed it. I think one of these is bad. Like it makes you slow or something, or something else bad. You get twenty dollars. Speed plus. I got. I gotta look at the top of what it says. Shot one. Cash. It's not just falling towards you. Kamikaze. Get away! Whoa. Even though there's no gravity. Okay. <laughs> Let's uh, tractor beam. Oh, what's happening? Mm, killed them all, I think, maybe. Azeroth is in the past. Is it Azeroth from World of Warcraft? The Warcraft universe? Azeroth? Bullet plus. Shot two. I gotta watch what I get. I know some of these are bad, so I'm trying to keep... I think that'll, that'll be a single shot if I get that coin-looking thing with just one line in it. So I probably don't want that. That makes sense. I guess. I think. Unless we'll add one and I'll have three. It could go either way. <laughs> and Ryan said, I need to see a Vectrex in person. It's hard to see what the overlay does when you're watching it this way. Well, just the color, that's all. Yeah, that's really it. It's making the color. The color would be pure white otherwise. But the transparency makes it color right. And also, you know, if you play with the lights on, which I could do for like five minutes if you want, you can see... Almost like in an arcade game where you have the whole like bezel with the, the art around it and stuff like that. See? Anyway, I'm in the store. Uh, what do I want to do here? I did a bunch of stuff. Yeah, it looks like that does. Bullet four sounds good. I don't have enough money for that. What were you saying? Sorry. Uh, the one bullet was there. Yeah, will that add one or bring me down to one? That's what I'm not sure. Anyway, let's uh. Get back to the theme of playing in the dark. I felt dirty with the light on. Do speed plus fit plus. Okay, we have the three meters down here. Speed, speed. bullet, and rate. Okay. Okay. Rate sounds good, I think. I guess we'll just save the rest of our money. Okay. Laser sounds cool. It's five thousand. <laughs> Must be good, right? Power, lock, bomb. Secret. It's a secret to everyone. How much does secret cost? Oh, I just scrolled all the way down. It is, uh, 3,000. They should do that. There are more things, it says. They should do that at the real stores. I'll just tell you, if you get this, but it's a secret. You have to pay us $30 first. Timer plus, speed plus. What is this thing? It made an R up here. What is the R? See on the left is the R? Oh, jeez. That last thing was a rate down. That was a bad one. What about this one? Shield. Mindstorm. Mindstorm. Now we're playing Mindstorm. Okay, now we're in a different game, I guess. Oh, I can't shoot. <laughs> it dodged the moment. It's Mindstorm. Oh, oh, shot. That was too fast. There were diamonds. I think when I was pressing 4, it was making me go faster. A T 
Yoshi. The raid again, I gotta not get the triangle, but the double arrow pointing down is a bad thing. Let's not get that. It might be all triangles are bad even. Not sure. With an X. So it's really hard to... Oh, I'm spelling extra, look at that. Okay, now I get it. I'm gonna avoid that minus bomb or something. Minus B. He needs the A. Need the A. Oh, there's a bossy. It's a boss beetle. It's a beetle bailey. Space beetle. It's very slow. What's he shooting? Look at that thing. It has thruster. <laughs> oh, I missed that thing, whatever it was. Extra. Yeah, it's cool. It's crazy though. The patterns they are changing. It says something like every time. Yes. It says something about chess last time. How about a nice game of chess? Yeah. Money, look at all this money. Spell R. Actually, when I was unboxing this game, I told Malbin ahead of time, now he's in Germany, but I said, hey, if by any chance you happen to be awake, maybe you want to join in chat while I, while I unbox your game and play it for the first time live. He was like, yeah, you, he says, basically, you know, you're right that I'll be asleep, but on the off chance I have bad insomnia, thank you for the link, <laughs> something like that. I'm going to keep going with the rate, 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 rate. Sounds like a good idea. And Ryan says, I like the animations when the ships explode. Yeah, I think all the animation and graphics are pretty neat so far. Something comes in flavor. Bugs. Bugs coming in. I got shot one. Don't. I will get it again. <clears throat> shot two. And this thing is good. Shot two again. Go away, Hershey Kisses. But it's kind of neat looking. They have this kind of tail to show that they're thrusting. Yeah. Those things that we're, we're making like fun of. Really yeah. <clears throat> Should I be using this bomb button more? You have a bomb button, right? Oh, yeah. It doesn't seem to be doing anything when I press it. Is it two this bomb? Yeah. Achievement triple. Triple what? Whoa. 13, she is the slayer. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm getting. Ah, oh, I'm dead. Danger, last life, active. Yeah, there is a lot going on in this game. It's a little tough at first to figure out. Getting good things or bad things. I guess you probably just get used to it. Come to me. Oh, they're chickening out. They're staying away from me. See that? Yeah. They don't want me to tractor beam them. Force them. The Darth Vader. Join the dark side. The minus the speed, I think. Good stuff. A. G. Got two beetles. Got John and Paul. What is that? Looks like it might be bad, but I don't know. Rank. It up my rank or something? It, rank. I don't know. On the top right, it said rank. Maybe it means I smell. Ah. Oh. Yeah, maybe it means you smell. I missed something cool. I think that's why I went. Oh. A star. You didn't get it. But it, that wasn't fair. fair. <laughs> <coughs> and then Stu says, overlays provide background and color. Yeah. 
Wait, should I really save money maybe for something cool later on? If you get the secret. Could get the blaster, armor, auto fire. I'm just gonna save money this time. Okay. Challenge me again, danger last night. Yep. Tractor beam. Uh, sure, I'm getting stuff. Got a perfect somehow. I don't know what that means. I guess I shot everybody as well. Shot everybody and didn't get hit. And maybe got all the bonuses. I don't think I got all the bonuses. Ah, oh, I got slowed down by that one. Yeah, I think got one. It's getting bad stuff here. When it appears low, you have to kind of either just choose to get it or not. You don't really have a chance to look at it. Because that's why it's better to shoot guys higher up. Oh, Shield. I'm trying to track your beam them. Get over here. Yeah, yeah, you're mine, you're mine. Oh, did yes. I get him? I think you no, got him. You got yes. You are my precious now. You are my servants for all time. 42, I got a $42 bill. Why does all of our money have to be in nice round numbers? Like fives and tens. Forty-two being the reference to. Uh, yeah. Oh, I got the one. The Hitchhiker's Guide. Which I need to read. I'm gonna keep saving. I wish I didn't get the, the single shot accidentally. I need to get the R and the E actually, that's what I need more to get extra. Ugh. That bad thing again. That one played horrible music, it must have been a really bad thing. R! I got the R! Just got so many letters just then, but none of them was E. There's E. E. Extra. Yeah. What does that do? Extra life. Ah. Like in Bubble Bobble. Challenge the zigzag. What is the zigzag? Pile of money. Screw your McDuck. This money bin was right there. Alright, cool. Boss. Whoa. What? <laughs> What's happening here? Is it a spider or something? Or an ant head? I'm terrified. Ah! Oh. Okay. What? That was like, ah, that was that. Again. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> the giant bug. Needless to say, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> well, okay. You should have been ready. <laughs> should have known. Yeah. Well, what do you think of that game? Uh, Pretty cool, huh? Good game. Good game. Someone clipped that reaction. <laughs> <laughs> on YouTube. I don't know, but look who's here. Oh, totally random. <laughs> it's completely random. That means it's time for a, a Merry Vecbis unboxing. Sorry about that. In which we try to keep Christmas going all year long until next Christmas. Let's see if we can make it. It is September and we have a package that was on my shelf for a while to unbox before your eyes. Isn't that exciting? And Ryan says, family gather around the Yule Log. Yeah, let's do that. This Caroler is actually a cool app made by um, Chris Binary Storm, Binary Star. You can just say Chris usually. Chris, any, any app was made for Vectrix is made by Chris. 
But this caroler guy, he will um he plays a bunch of different songs. It's pretty fun. Like you can scroll through like ten different Christmas carols. But anyway, it's time to unbox. Rather than disturbing my stuff here, I'm gonna just you know my my phone camera setup and all that. I'm just gonna kind of make this bigger. And here we have something from this is actually from uh, a guy named Chris. <laughs> I'm not kidding, actually. Um, I, I kind of blurred out info, but this is Chris Parsons, aka Vector Republic. Let's uh, shrink this agenda thing or or disable it. And yeah, it's another game from him that I ordered a while ago. So, you can, if you know what games that he has, and you know what I have already, you can deduce what it is. But maybe you don't know what I have already. I don't know what he has. And if you don't know what he has for sale, then it doesn't help you. But yeah, he's a, a dude in the UK. His company is called, or his website, at least I don't know if it's incorporated officially, but he called it Vector Republic. And he has a few games that you can buy. Here comes the big unbox. Let's put away the sharp knife. Yes, you can see the Sanguli t-shirt now. Alright, there's bubble wrap. Just what I always wanted. Bubble wrap was the coolest thing when I was a kid. You need to it. And... This came up earlier, which is why I kind of avoided the question because I didn't want to jump into the, the ROM version when I can play the real physical version of Quartz's Quest, which, uh, yeah, it's kind of a, an RPG for Vectrex. And yeah, if you want that, you can get it from Vector Republic, as I did. Or you could just download the ROM, apparently. Take control of Quartz, a, a dragon whose knight has been captured by an evil troll sorcerer. An evil troll sorcerer, usually it's just like an evil sorcerer or an evil troll. But in this case, it's an evil troll sorcerer and imprisoned in his magic tower. Explore the vast overworld and unique dungeons to find the three keys needed to enter the magic tower and face your final epic battle against the sorcerer himself. Each game you start will create a new dungeon layout and randomly placed special items and enemies, meaning every game is new, a new and exciting challenge. There's a couple of screenshots. I don't have the overlay for this, though. Unfortunately, maybe I'll have to get that with my next order from what's-his-face. <laughs> what is it? I guess probably Stephen Cray has? I don't know. Whole array of Vectrix cartridges is available. Underwater, Wild West, and Racing. Each challenges you with incredibly real arcade play. Oh, I sat on the box. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, Ryan was asking about that. Exactly, Ryan. Let me give you a little uh, business card. And it shows that that Frontier game on it right here. Oops. He puts all his games in these nice plastic boxes with the card. And it protects the game and keeps it in good shape while it's shipping. It come with an overlay, man. No, unfortunately, I don't think it... Oh, actually, it probably... Yeah, it probably does. Okay, yeah. I don't know why I didn't... Didn't click with me. Yeah, I think it, I think his games all come with the overlay. And Stu says he has this. Did you ever get a Vectrex though yet, Stu? Or are just buying games for it? <laughs> gonna get it soon. Um. So here's the cart. Quartz's Quest. Stu has a huge collection of old school games for like every console and computer imaginable, by the way. Yeah, here's a nice overlay. I don't know why I thought it wouldn't have one. It's a cool color. Got that greenish. Looks weird from the other side. And then some commands at the bottom. Exploring. When you're exploring versus fighting, the, the commands are different. Makes sense. And he always puts these uh, protective coatings. You probably saw me take these off before. With wild, uh, the Wild West game Frontier as well as um, Big Blue, and that's cool. I, I like that he seems to protect it, 
the, the stuff very well. It seems like there's very li little risk of anything getting damaged in shipping. But is there a manual? Yes, there is. So why don't we, um, if you give me a moment, I'll try to take off the protective film and we can get right to playing with this. We could flip through the manual a little bit. Where do you like, I remember having a little trouble figuring it out last time yeah. too. Like where do you it's probably just the edge. peel it? I guess you gotta go at the edge. Yeah, like you just said. Bear with me a moment, sorry guys. It's like no good way to get your nail in at it. Basically your fingernail. I think I could probably just use it like this. <laughs> yeah. And worry about it later. Then you have the thing in the middle. Yeah. Dashing through the snow. Well. Jeez. They shouldn't make it easier to <laughs> take it off. Oh, here we go. It's starting to come off. All right, got it. Got it to peel at the corner. It's always satisfying to do that, right? Uh, Ta-da. I think I might need to play more Vector Blade on my own, not just when I'm streaming. Well, let's take this camera off me. Nobody cares to see that anymore. There we go. Quartz's Quest. Yeah, this might be the first RPG for uh, Vectrex. By the way, they're worth looking at this manual real quick. Uh, let's see if I can put it in front of this camera. There we go. Quartz's Quest. Let's try more light. Quartz is this dragon guy. Info sign shop slash in. Healing spring, troll tower, <coughs> shop sign, treasure chest, and mountains. Here's the controls. I wish it was the same things we were looking at on the overlay itself. Um, sorry, let me auto. Come on, focus. There we go. There are personalities in the realm that feed their depraved and maladjusted souls with the misery and despair caused by their vile actions. One such villain named by the stalkers of darkened alleys and empty taverns in hushed whispers as the evil troll sorcerer stood in his knighted tower, gazed across the nightmare winds in the way only evil wizards can, and saw with venomous and twisted intemperance a great festival of love and friendship. Many helpless eyes watched as an armored knight, whom belonged to a regal dragon named Quartz, was seized by the flying monstrosity sent by the sorcerer and carried away into the Goblin Valley on terrific flapping wings. It's time to help Quartz rescue the knight and destroy the evil so troll sorcerer once and for all. And Stu says Quartz is trying to find a Vectrex, exactly. And Ryan says, depraved and maladjusted soul marks target audience. Yeah. Enter the Goblin Valley. The Sorcerer's Tower stands in the center of a magic valley. This is only this is a pretty short rule. We're halfway through it, by the way, so I figure I might as well just get through it all. It being an RPG, it might not be obvious if I don't read that. It might not be obvious how to play. Come on, focus. Down in front. Alright, uh, here we go. The gates of this tower are locked by three keys guarded by as many evil monsters who reside in their respective dungeons. In the southwest, a tall fortress crumbles in an imposing forest. In the northwest, blinding sandstorms veil an ancient pyramid. In the northeast, a smoking volcano hides among blasted icy mountains. In the southeast, an oppor the opportunistic goblins sell weapons and equipment to any adventure brave or fool enough to enter their valley. One must have their wits about them when entering the valley. 
Button of one will search the area, open any treasure chests left around by previous heroes, take a dip in a healing spring, or enter a building. Man, I'm having trouble with this focus here. I guess I'm just too close. There we go. Just pull it back a little and then zoom in works better. One must also come prepared. Button two will open an inventory screen displaying current health, magic, gold, weapon, and armor collected, and so on. Many dangerous creatures make the Goblin Valley their home and will happily devour anyone walking into their territory. And Ryan says you need to get your adventure book stand for this, yeah. Uh, dragons are very good at using their tails to defend themselves. Pressing button 3 will deliver a powerful tail attack to a selected enemy. Many different weapons can be attached for enhanced offensive capabilities. So I'm attaching weapons to my tail. <laughs> it may be purchased in the Goblin Village or found in treasure chests. If a tail attack isn't enough, the dragon's infamous calling card is always an option. Press button 4 to unleash a devastating breath attack. Like me after I eat a lot of garlic. I had some good garlic knots today with my chicken parm. Several different attacks may be used by selecting specific elemental gems from the inventory screen, which may be purchased in the Goblin Village or found in treasure chests. This uses magic, however, and while a greater gem allows for a breath attack to, to last an entire battlefield, this will cost more magic than a single blow. There are typos in this, it looks like. Yeah. It is uncertain how these goblins got their paws on some of this stuff, but they will be more than happy to give it up for a few pieces of monster gold. A description of the items found in the supply shop follows. Food, typical adventuring rations, bland but, nothing, bland but nourishing, a morsel of food will restore a few hit points. Potions, goblins have a fondness for cherry-flavored potions, but the active ingredient will restore a few magic points for breath weapons. Feathers, Collected from a bird that migrates between realities, a feather may be burned to be transported back to the goblin village, to the entrance of a dungeon, or to escape a dicey combat situation. Gems. To use a breath attack of a specific element, its gem must be equipped. Some monsters are immune to particular attacks, while others will be obliterated by their weakness. A greater gem will affect all enemies on screen, while standard gems will only target a single enemy. Goblins don't faff around with weapon and armor prices. The more expensive it is, the more effective it will be. It's, I guess it's just telling me there's nothing like, you know, an expensive thing that's a phony. You don't have to worry about that in this game. Uh, purchasing or finding a weapon or armor will automatically replace any inferior weapon or armor already worn. There are some legendary items hidden in the valley that the goblins have yet to find. A healing spirit will thank anyone who frees it from a locked chest by restoring health a Song of Revival has been known to get stuck in an adventurer's head and given them a second chance they sh should they fall to the darkness. And then there was a rare and powerful weapon feared by all minions of strife. Step into the underworld. When a dungeon is discovered, it may be entered freely. The master of the dungeon must be located somewhere in these haunting halls. When this foe is defeated, it will relinquish, relinquish the key it was bade to protect. Unfortunately, the magic bond between key and the master will alert the dark forces once broken. The more keys collected, the more creatures will try to destroy the holder of them. If there are multiple keys on the battlefield, a single target may be selected by using the joystick or use a greater gem to blast them all. Long road ahead. Um... Course's quest may seem daunting, but if the world is to enjoy a golden age of fellowship, hearts must be filled with bravery and determination. The forces of angst and dissonance will be snuffed out. Good luck. And you can see the top three credits are three different people named Chris. <laughs> Great game design code and graphics by Chris McMillan. Additional game design by Chris Parsons. And code optimization by Chris Salomon. Salomon is, um, is uh, Malbin. And box art overlay instructions by Rick Parsons. Music by Jonathan Bennett. Playtesting Hugo Crossley. Translations by a lot of people. Thanks to Malvin for Vide. And blah, blah, blah. And optimizing Chris Malcolm. So another Chris. And Jim Watt. Okay, and they get a shout, give a shout out to Vectrex Fan Unite, which is pretty much the best 
Vectrex community there is. I guess I don't really know vectorgaming.probars.com. Maybe that's pretty good too. And, and also there's some Vectrex community on Atari Age. But in my experience, Vectrex Fancy Night is probably the best one. Finally, to Chris McMillan for letting me play publisher with this game. I have an underworld map here. I don't know if it's supposed to be held like this. I think, I think it is. Okay, so it's a not very big underworld. <laughs> and the underworld is actually above, le above, above ground? I don't, I don't get it. I guess it is. And there you have it. Maybe it's like a giant cave or something. I mean, I, saw, I think I saw a cave entrance, but it said, um, but it showed on un underworld map, and it looks like just mountains and above ground stuff. See, actually, I don't know if that's a cave entrance or just a volcano or something. Looks like a volcano. Looks like it. All right, so why don't we uh, turn back off the lights and start playing? So YouTube doesn't take us down for false advertising. Yeah, falsely advertising, playing in the dark. Uh. Turn. I'm gonna have to fiddle with focus and stuff again, unfortunately. And zoom out once more. Dun dun dun. Characters and worlds. C C S A by 2018-2020. Danabola Interactive. Press the button to enter the Goblin Valley. Den Ebola. Ebola? Den Ebola. And Ryan says you need to get your adventure book stamp. Oh, it's from before. <laughs> Pretty cool intro tune. <laughs> Thanks for whoever just liked the stream, I appreciate it. <coughs> Alright, let's do it, I guess. Would you like to play first this time? Sure. Okay. So, Control. okay, the controls are again. Um, if you look down here, you can see when you're exploring, one is to look, two is inventory, and that's it. Okay. When you're fighting, two is use item, three is to hit with your tail, four is to use your breath attack. Okay. I'll figure it out. All right, here we go. So, here's our story. Here's our plot line, I guess. Okay. So there's a sign that says gibberish. I guess look is probably like interact, I guess. Right, and the sign reads, what was it? Uh, Goblin vill Village directly east. Okay. There's a mountain or something. Armory. One enter, two leave. I'll enter. All Armory right, so you have 20 gold. 20 gold. Not sure what's advisable to buy as a newbie. You happen but... to be selling stuff for dragons. Yeah, it looks like you either want a tail mace or a small helm, or you could save your money. I'm going to save my money. Really? I'll probably buy something. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I'm saving my money. Okay, fine. Going here? That's probably where. I think you were going in there yeah. by hitting the yeah hitting the sign. Here's a. Well, I guess there's more shops. You hit that one. Supply shop. Food. You probably potion. need some of this. Ah. Uh, I don't know. You can only get food or potion though. Yeah. Did it, I think it mentioned food? What did? It, what food is, is it just for healing, does? I think. Oh yeah, the potion is for your magic, and the food is for healing. In. I I'm a small, pretty small dragon. It's yeah, the food the food heals a few hit points. The beds are likely dirty anyway. Oh, what was that? I pressed one twice on accident. I don't know. Can someone go back and see what that said. Doesn't matter, I guess. There's a tree. Go pee on it. Several indifferent goblin shopkeepers lounge about a few small huts protected by mountains. the weapons. Mm -hmm. Why don't I buy a weapon? Do it. Buy a tail, tail mace. mace. All right. And I guess it's probably gets yeah, equipped. Yeah. This is pretty cool. Just because there's nothing like this on Vector. The tree. 
mild sunshine floods the open and grassy plains. It's the underworld, apparently. Can you press one on each tree? The forest canopy is buzzing with various insects and other more arcane creatures. I think that's just yeah, this just area. Yeah, right for the whole screen, okay. Or, oh, oh. An encounter, I guess. White, round Watch one. Can you, see, can you see the controls again? Actually, it says it right there. That's a giant moth. So I can do... Stealth. No, health, nine. It's funny that the, uh, the whole opaque part of the overlay covers that part. Yeah. And the design is, the, uh, you know, the overlay design for this game, too. I'm um, doing tail, I guess. Okay. You hit for two hit, hit points. So now it has, is that you have nine health and mag nine magic, or is that it? Don't know. Okay. Probably. I don't think a moth would have a magic. Giant moth hits you, and I have seven. No, the, wait, does the moth have seven? I don't know. If you do. Hit for one. Giant moth misses. Okay. So I don't know it's health, okay. Right. It's one of those things. This looks like the game I made. <laughs> With graphics, fancy graphics. Giant moth is dead. You killed Mothra and found one gold. Okay. <clears throat> Tough to grasp. It's the same text. Hmm. Did you hit it on that screen though? Oh. Watch out. Okay. Another moth. Let's try breathing. I feel like it's probably overkill, but okay. Yeah. So that used, what, one magic? Yeah, one magic. Okay. okay, they're not terrible, I guess. But... I just wanted to try it. Yeah, it's fine. But I'm not sure if it recovers at all, or you just need the potions to recover it. It might just re recover slowly over time as well. There's so many caps. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> and it's a moth again. It's like in Dragon Warrior or something when you encounter slimes at the beginning. I'm running low. On health? Oh, yeah, you are. Yeah, you could, uh... I want it. You gonna breathe? Food. Food, okay. Eat some food in the midst of combat. Mmm. Oh, I can... You can do it right here on the menu. Yeah, there you go. I think I had nine. Let's see. Well, Your max was nine, yeah. Let's see if it recovered. Your initial was nine. Now you got five again. These moths are tough. Okay. And Ryan says, Vectrex reminds me of Tron. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Everything's made of these glowy lights. I gotta go find something. I'm gonna have to die. Do, 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 do. Can't they give you? All right. I'm trying to be generous, <laughs> but I'm like, ah, oh, can't you just mix it up a little bit? Just a bunch of moths. You found one gold because the moths carry gold. Not that much gold. It's a lot for a moth to be carrying, though. Yeah. Giant moth. Is it a moth? Yep. Okay. You might need to uh, breathe or something. Yeah. And or heal. Eagle. So, how much gold do you have altogether? You might be able to buy something else. 16. 16. So, when you get 20, you can probably buy that low level armor again. Yeah, what am I trying to do? I don't know. Uh. Check out the sign. Well, this is the, where I was, I think. Yeah. Oh, oh. I mean, we could look at this map. Oh. It's a leak. The crystal waters heal your aching body. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So, so. It's not in your face. No, it's right. So I'm at one of these lakes, I guess. Yeah, you're at one of those lakes. <laughs> Lake three. No, probably not at that one. What is that castle thing? I don't know. I'm gonna go north and maybe you'll go to that castle. Sure. Oh, there's a shop right here. It's the potion shop. So yeah, it's probably the same shop. You're back by start, I guess. Supply shop. Alright, I can buy a gem of ice if I wanted. You don't have enough money. I guess I missed that lake before. And I've already 
like wasted most of my food. Well, I guess not wasted because I would have died. Um, I guess, yeah, I think you're right. Wait, where should you just go east? Uh, yeah, it's hard to it's hard to understand how the map translates to the game. Okay, go up here. But the lakes would probably be a good landmark. So yeah. Oh, there's a fish. You called a rock fish. Water. Two HP. One HP. Dead. Eagle. Eagle on the rockfish. Okay, I think I'm like here. Maybe, I don't know. Or not. I guess not. Oh, it could be. No, I found the, like a dead end. Hungry cloud. <laughs> this cloud is gonna eat you. So hungry, it wants to eat an entire dragon. Where are you going? I mean, I, there was a dead end up there. Okay. Are those mountains like fully blocking you? I think so. I guess I didn't really try. I one shot at it. The, cl the clouds seem easier than the moths. Yeah. <laughs> Even though they're not the first thing you find. Are you pressing one on every screen or? Ah, uh, no. Wild sunshine floods the opening. Press you feel. Hold on, let's figure out where the heck we're going. Okay, I got like, so. Oops. I guess this castle means this, the goblin village, but I don't know. Maybe I was going. Could it be this one? Here. I don't know. <clears throat> Why don't you go down south? Okay. You didn't do that really, except for that one. No, I think there were mountains in the way. Okay, hold on. Yeah. All right. Go out to the right, though. There's also mountains in the way. Down and right? Uh, I didn't There's an inn. Have you seen that before? Yeah, I saw that. Hold on, so the inn is... Shouldn't this inn be on the map? Well, this is part of the village, I think. Let's guess. So the only way I can really exit is to the top left. So maybe here? Yeah, look, those are probably the huts. I don't know what these look like. It could be huts, yes. Yeah, they're huts, yeah, you're There's right. a lake. Okay. And that's you can good. only exit so the top, the top left. left. Okay, we figured it out, yay. I'm gonna go up then. And I think there's supposed to be another lake. Yeah, there, there is. Yeah, that's the second lake. Okay. What did it do? Heal you? It just heals the same. They always heal you. You should be pushing one on every screen. That's duty. <clears throat> this dark figure of the evil troll wizard's tower looms over you. You three need keys. three keys to enter here. Keys found zero. Enter. No, I can't enter. Watch out. Okay. Another cloud. Take that, you cloud. Pressing one on every screen. Well, it's not the same. I think it's the, the same. I see wind howls and whips around the rugged red stone mountains. They're red, you just can't tell. And the green. There's the cactuses. Cacti, I don't know. Okay. Looks You're like, right. up here, probably. Yeah, it looks like there's a. Pyramid. There's a pyramid northwest. Dust, Dust demon. demon. It's a Tasmanian devil. I'm gonna have to actually go down to the lake again and heal. And maybe buy something. How much money do you have? And there's a sign. The sign reads desert northwest, mountains northeast, forest southwest, village southeast. I think the mountains are everywhere. Pretty much. <laughs> Much better. No, I want to. Okay, I can't. Ooh. 
crazy shroom. Don't eat it. <laughs> crazy shroom hits you. That was one crazy shroom that could attack you. Yeah, let's go to this pyramid thing. What is that? Just a plant? It's up, probably. Try not to shine the flashlight on the screen. Here. Okay. Here we're in the desert area again. Ooh, Whoa. There's like a sandstorm. Why don't you, hit, why don't you hit the one button? There? Like, if something interesting, the one button is going to tell you what it is. A violent sandstorm makes it difficult to see anything. All right. Flying skull. <laughs> the cow skull? Yeah, those are in the desert usually. I'm getting kind of <clears throat> low on him. <hell>. Yep. <laughs> Brian okay. asks, where's Ned Hack of our church fish? Well. <laughs> Sorry, no Ned Hack, Brian. Should I make it? Is that what you're implying? <laughs> Heal. Yeah, you do. Eat something, yeah. You got 63 gold. If you do want to find your way back to the village, yeah. you can get some good stuff. You can always use one of those feathers. Here's, Here's the, the pyramid. pyramid. Check it out. An ominous antediluvian pyramid rises from out of the unforgiving sand. That's a vocabulary word. Antediluvian means very old. I'm going to be on the test. Are you in it? Oh, I didn't. Okay. I think you're going to die right now. Probably. <laughs> An evil bat. Okay. Gonna watch those ancient pyramids, those evil bats. I'm gonna try to get go back, actually, to like the lake. The engraved sand, sand tone stone. Sand tone stone. Sand tone stone walls feel cool to the touch. Stairly to the surface. Is it? Okay, I'm going home. Or not home, but to a lake. And you should hit the store too, probably. Unless we just want to rush the game, because yeah. I've seen enough for now. <laughs> I'll let you do what you want, though. Okay. Do, 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 do. Those mounds remind me of something like... That's, I'm going to use the feather. Isn't there some, like, terrain or... Maybe even a character in Adventure Time that looks like... Is, it like the ice, is there like an Ice King or something? In yeah, there's Adventure Ice King in Adventure Time. It looks like that, doesn't it? <laughs> looks like the... Uh, like his castle or something? Yeah, maybe it's his castle, I'm thinking. Yay! Crystal Waters. That's close. Alright. So let me go back to the pyramid, I guess. Rock fan. Oh, you know, I forgot to buy something. I should go buy something. Yes, you should. Because you have so much money. Yeah. And no armor. No gems. The best gear. How much do I have? 69. Ryan says the Vectrex game where you were a spaceship shooting up a mountain. What, the Fortress of Narzad? I'm not sure what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, you're back to the Goblin Village. Okay. Now you can buy stuff. Get drunk first. Yeah, let me do that. I don't even think I'm damaged, but... Alright, supplies. Alright. What are these? So you have 69. The gems you attach to, I think, your tail, and they do a, an extra damage effect, basically. Okay. So something like that. Well, I don't know. I think you might want to get some armor. Yeah, I was thinking that, too. So when you use a gem, you can use a breath... Of a specific element, essentially. Okay. So that's like magic, kind of. Yeah. I'm gonna get a chainmail. Alright. And I can't afford that. I think just rush into the pyramid now. Okay. Yeah. I'll see how you do. More defense now. <clears throat> or more health or something. I don't know. Probably defense. Right, so the di it had a diagonal view, had mountains like that. It 
was a diagonal. Spaceship shooting up a mountain with a diagonal view. Like a Zaxxon kind of three quarters perspective. I'm trying to think of what Ryan is referring to. Hungry cloud. Well, you're right. The the pyramid is northwest, right? Is that, I wasn't really watching. No, I went off. the wrong way. I okay. think. Gotta go left more. Fortress of Narza. Okay. Ryan's talking about Fortress of Narza. He said you already said the name. Yeah, Front Watch of Nod Road is actually a great game for Vectrix. One of my favorites of the original game. But I, uh, I'm, I'm l not letting it into this stream because this is homebrew games only. <laughs> but yeah, you're asking about what, what that looks like. Yeah, I guess it does look a little like that. It has the sharp angles and stuff. I haven't taken any damage since the armor. Oh, it must be good armor. All right, you're in the, uh, There's desert there. area. Oh, Whoa. what's that? A chest? You found the Song of Restoration. Okay. Can you check your inventory? Well, after this, probably. Yeah. Mm, there's nothing okay. more than this. Alright. Oh, wait. There's like a music note next to my name. Oh, that must be the song of restoration. Maybe it's like after I die, I come back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, didn't they say something about did, that? They did say something like it. Was it that, though? I think, it, I think that sounds right. Mm -hmm. This overlay is a little bit falling out. Do yeah. you want me to fix it? Yeah. find the tab. <laughs> right, just go with that. See. Don't want to have my hands in the way for 10 minutes. <laughs> <coughs> All right, so he's in the pyramid, folks. This could be a tough boss or something coming up. An imp. An imp. It's a weird M. Oh, I actually got hurt. First time I've been hurt in a bit. Chest. Found the gem of greater eyes. Nice. So what did it say? The greater ones can hit multiple people? It said something about greater. Oh yeah, there can be multiple, I guess. Yeah. Okay, anyway. Okay, I can make my breath greater ice. Yeah, greater gem affects all enemies on screen while standard gems only target a single Dead enemy. End. I think this might be a maze. I think it might be. Evil bat. One shot. Can you walk through those squares? I think I just. I just maybe, the, the, maybe the edge a little bit. It pushed me. One damage. Do, 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 do. So, I guess left here. Nope. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna start mapping this out. <laughs> I think it's probably right then. If all else fails, then we can just hold one direction. What's that? What, like a snake? I pressed one and it did that. Mummy Mom's snake. <laughs> I think I could have just walked past it probably. Some problems. Ooh, two damage. Four percent. Oh, you're gonna get killed. You have food? I have oh, you got all food. I'm about I to do some magic. You're oh. dead. You are done, done for. for. Please try again. You got killed by a mummy thing. It might have been the boss oh, of the pyramid. <gasps> Your song of restoration. <laughs> Dragon is back. Oh, I'm. It's on. You're gonna fight it again? Or run away scared. If five HP. I could go buy a like a bunch of food. 
but that would take a while. So I'm going to go do that. Okay. So Ryan asks, so when are you making Vectrex games for Fitbit? What? <laughs> what are you talking about, Vectrex? <laughs> the bright display would work well. You mean like porting uh, Mindstorm or Fortress of Nars Adderton to Fitbit? <laughs> Can you play games on Fitbit? Uh, I don't know. I know you have you have different watch faces, but I don't know about games. I can play Pong on my Apple Watch. <laughs> That's about it. Do 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 do. Oh, Bob gets the expensive Apple Watch. I get the Fitbit. This was a. Uh, let's see. This was uh, discounted by work, so I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm getting. It. They wanted to give everybody at work when the pandemic started. They um. The low end Fitbit watch for free, or maybe not even the watch, whatever the low end Fitbit is for free, maybe to encourage like a, you know, a, an intra company, you know, walking competition. Just you know, because we were all sitting at home, and the idea was get people active. And then people started asking, you know, if if the low end Fitbit costs X dollars, can we upgrade to this? You know, any of the greater ones and subtract that amount from it. And they basically gave in and said sure. So I got the high end Fitbit Sense, but got a decent discount. Here is All right, you can get some food. Supply. So ice is kind of useless. I do have 87. Yeah. What was the, um... Is there a better weapon you can get? I think there was. I could buy, like, four food and the weapon. Why don't you plan out... have a weapon. Before you fill up on a food, why don't you plan out weapon and armor purchases? And what's a feather again? Feather makes you, like, run away from a fight. Okay. Which I probably should have used before, now that I think about I it. I guess. But I forgot they existed. <laughs> Can, we, can you save your game in this? Huh? No, I don't know. I'm going to buy four food and then the weapon. I'm okay. make sure that's the right Yeah, price. check the price first. Okay. Tail spikes. So the weapon. And do you automatically... No, you don't automatically sell the lesser no. weapon. It just disappears. Okay. And Stu says, this guy's walk cycle... Makes him look like a cockroach. Okay. <laughs> and Ryan says, "Do don't walk cycle shame." <laughs> All right, let's let's go kill that um, mummy snake. I think after that we'll wrap it up. Just yeah. Can't be playing this game all night. I mean, I guess we could. So this could be its own stream. <laughs> yeah. Why is there a fish in the middle of the land? It's a rock <laughs> fish. Okay, it's a rock fish. It's a fish that lives in the rocks. It's made of rock or something. I don't know. It, like, it likes to rock. No. Kill the mummy snake. Kill the mummy snake. Mummy snake. I gotta say, this is definitely impressive and different, a different style of game for Vectrex. And it's pretty cool. You know, if, if this was on like PC or something, it would be unremarkable. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's cool. I'm pretty impressed. Oh, the movie snake. Oh, it's moved. gone. Maybe that's the whole point of this. I don't know. He's in a different place each time. Is that even something you have to kill? Who knows? It did seem like a boss. Oh, here it is. I could probably just walk past it. I have to actually press a button to fight it. Okay. Oh, well, now you're fighting. Oh, I did a lot of damage. Do your breath. Mm, I don't know if I want to item. Huh? No, I'll use breath. Only four. You're dead. dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Had all the best gear and stuff. That was my bad advice. I didn't say you're dead yet. Wait, what? Can you survive oh, on zero? Oh, does that have to go like, below zero? Maybe. I guess. Try to use something to heal now. Oh, wrong button. Oh, too bad. I missed it. Now you can heal. Fine. Food. Yeah, now you're back at nine. That was. Okay. Now you can probably breath. finish him. No, I can't. No, you, only, you don't have enough magic for the breath. That was just, one. Just oh, yeah, it probably cost more because it's greater or something. Better. This thing is dead. I killed it. You got a key. You got one of the three keys you need to get okay. into the troll tower. Hey, Vectrexer's here. How's it going, Vectrex? And, uh, Vectrexer, I mean. And Ryan is talking about Mumra. Mumra the snake. Oh, there's two this time. Oh, two. It's getting crazy. Yeah, so Vectrexer, this was our unboxing of the evening. 
and I'm sure you're well aware of what this game is, but it is called Quartz Quest. So Rob Bob is playing it. This is our first time playing it. And he's gotten one of the three keys. I think that might be it for this pyramid. Although I don't think I've explored everything. It seems like right when you get that key, suddenly you're fighting two monsters at a time. Yeah, that's it's like what it you, looks like. It's like you leveled up in a sense. And Vectrexer says, happy Saturday. Happy Saturday to you too, Vectrexer. All right, I'm going to leave. And he also says, great game. Cool. Oh, there's, now there's only one right now. <clears throat> All right, can we see the, can we see the map oh, again? Oh, yeah. We're taking a look see at the map -see. So, maybe it would be a good idea to go there, to this uh, mountain or something. It. Was it straight east, basically? Yeah, basically. Have you played through this backtrackser? I could get a bunch of gold from the desert and then buy some food and stuff. Desert gold? Mine, okay. mine, mining for gold in the desert? I'm not going to do that, though. That would be boring. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to drink a potion. Does anything restore your magic? I think potions. I mean, I mean besides potions? Like, you know how you find the lake for your yeah, health? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, uh, doesn't go to 100. Or not 100, uh, max. Okay. Vector day. Yeah, that's right, Ryan. It is vector day. Normally, vector day is the first Saturday of the month, but it was unavailable last week. So, I, instead of skipping in September, it's much better to just play... On the second Saturday, in my opinion. Because you can't just skip playing Vectrex for a whole month. It's like skipping a holiday. Yeah. Like skipping taking a shower or, or um, anything that you should be doing regularly. <laughs> right, everyone, everyone here showers every day. <laughs> Only once a month for me, the first Saturday of the month. <laughs> I gotta look good for the Vectrex stream. And not smell bad. Okay, we're buying a bunch of food. And, uh... Not a potion. <laughs> Should have checked what the inn does. Yeah, why don't you go in? I, I don't think I have enough money. Just try it. Five gold to stay. Yeah, I can't. Oh yeah, you saw that message before. It might, it might save your game. It might heal you. It might Maybe restore it your does magic. Save your game. I don't know if this game has saves or not. I'll try to find something and then I can try it. The rulebook didn't mention the save. Give me an item. Thanks for the likes, people. I appreciate it. One gold. Now I just need like two more or one more. I don't know. Oh, for the end? One more. Yeah, I want to try that. Cool. Watch out. I think flying skulls are the best for gold. <laughs> Those flying skulls are, are loaded. <laughs> they always have like seven gold. Can you try just see what it, if it says anything different if you go into the troll right. tower? They'll probably probably just not. Say I have one. Yeah. Yeah, you have one. Okay. <laughs> the troll tower. I guess it is pretty different that you're a dragon in a role, role playing game. Yeah, usually you're trying to stop the dragon. <laughs> Dragons are the bad guys. And why are we saving at night? Usually it's like the night is the one saving from the dragon. <laughs> so this store is all out. Oh no, that's the different. That's I, the I was just reminded I have, you know, you, you guys know I'm into the role playing game Tunnels and Drills and I like playing the solo adventures on this channel sometimes. And uh, you wake up fresh, to, or fresh to, it probably refills your hit points and magic. But anyway, I have a Tunnels and Trolls adventure called Blue Frog Tavern in which you have a rock demon friend, and his name is Quartz. <laughs> and Vectrexer says, sorry, I nearly always join late. Hey, no worries. Out on the West Coast, we still had light to enjoy the day when you were starting the stream. That makes sense. I, I wouldn't blame you at all. <laughs> and, you How know, dare you still have light? I figure, you know, if anyone who's interested in the stream, we stream for a few hours usually, so, you know, you could catch us for one hour or or a half hour or whatever. Whatever works for you. 
No need to apologize is what I'm getting at. Okay, I think I'm going to go. He's had enough. It is Rob Bob's bedtime. I'm tired. All right. Thank you for joining us. Okay. Want to wave to the camera? <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I'm going to do what I usually do when Rob Bob uh, is heading to bed, and that is I am going to uh, have a little intermission and use the facilities, possibly refill my water bottle. Eh, I'm pretty good on the water. And, uh, yeah. I will rejoin in just a couple of minutes. Why don't I put on something intermission like while I am stepped away for a couple of minutes? So that was Quartz Quest, by the way. A cool game. And let's find something neat to put on in the meantime. Jukebox cart. <laughs> Is that a thing? Jukebox cart. Here we go. Doctor Who theme. <laughs> Enjoy. I'll be back. I'm gonna see if this jukebox card is the thing that I have. It doesn't look like it, unless you meant like the general idea of a ROM that plays music. <laughs> anyway, as you can tell, I'm back. Um, yeah, so what am I playing? I have no idea what I'm playing now. I could go to some of the most awesome games that were ever made for Vectrek, which are the Tuts Tronics games. Those are always favorites of mine. Or I could load something random that I've never tried before. What about Roli das Spiel? I think I tried this.
Is this by Vector Control? This is a free version of Vector Control. This is, is this a race car game? Ryan asked, what is Monster House? I don't know if I can check. I think I missed that. Thanks for the attention there, looks. Vector just says a Vectrex Rolly themed game. I don't know what that means though, actually. What's going on? <laughs> what? It's like hide and seek or something? You have to not be looking when she turns? What's going on? <laughs> I'm so confused. Am I grabbing? Am I groping here? <laughs> Red light, green light? Maybe it's that. Sorry, I'm adjusting my, uh, my camera a little bit. So Stu said, uh, I stepped away for a bit. What is this? Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's called Rolly. Oh, and uh, Vectrex says to play off the skits Vectrex Rolly did on his YouTube channel. Yeah, I'm totally in the dark on that, unfortunately. And Brian asks, is this Custer's Revenge? Oh, geez. So I guess I'm supposed to pick up that box or something and not be looked at. And I can duck. I guess I have to pick up the box. Ah, oh, she saw me. I'm not sure if you have to look away or just not be moving when she looks at you. Can I pick it up? There we go. Oh, I got one. Okay. <laughs> Next Rexer says. And yes, more or less a red light, green light game with the requirement to retrieve your package with more secret game deliveries. I get it. It's kind of playing off of how pretty much any ad adult male who's in it, really into a hobby, I've noticed on the internet, it, if it could be about guitars. Because I'm in some guitar groups as well. You know, retro video games, they all have like this kind of joke about how they, they order so much and they have to hide it from their wives. Like, that's like memes about it and I was like I don't know it's so weird to me don't, isn't it good to actually like you know talk about what you buy with your wife <laughs> could just be just humor and it's not really being serious but anyway Jet Strike said hi Mark what's this game it literally looks like a Tiger Electronic game <laughs> hey Jet Strike how's it going uh, this is a I'm, well this is my Vectrex stream that I do once a month Vectrex being a 1982 um, console that has a vector based display built in and this game is it's kind of like a joke. It's not really a serious game. It's called Vec Vector Rolly. But thanks for joining Jet Strike. Jet Strike, I think his first um, entry into my channel was the Sonic the Hedgehog game book. That's where I first chatted with Mr. Jet Strike here. All right. Uh, yeah, what shall we play? And Vectrex says the joke is hiding from your wife. Right. But in real life, Mrs. Vectrex really supports his hobby. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, uh, Ryan wanted me to look at something called Monster House. Let's see what that is. Something from 1998. I don't have a start button. What's going on here? Is it Breakout with a weird monster? <laughs> Am I supposed to hit him? Oh, what happened? You hit me teleport. They're using the maximum brightness for this ball. It's really bright. Okay. 
Okay, this is a ridiculous game. Uh, at the bottom it says House 3. And Vector 3 says, by the way, the programmer Der Lux makes other games that have sort of a pocket LCD game look and feel cool. I always wanted to check out some of them, but he doesn't make any of them anymore. I asked him. And you can usually find them on eBay, but for exorbitant prices. I think I was interested in his uh, game, um, Mention, Mention Yogged, I think it's called. That looked pretty cool. It's just like a bunch of stick figures trying to kill each other. <laughs> And Jet Strike says it reminds him of the video games powered by white lights, white lights like Pong. Yeah, that's definitely on the right track. So this game is not really good. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, I've been itching to play um, a Touchtronic game, so let's do that. How about some Vector Pilot, perhaps? I'm totally into that game. Oh, we already did raid over Vectrexia. I didn't know what the heck I was doing, though. I mean, yeah, I sucked at it. I could, I could give it another go in a little while, maybe. Now that Rob Bob has gone to bed, I can use his now vacant chair to put some of these piles of games on. But yeah, Vector Pilot is a game by Mr. Christoph Tutz in Belgium. And he makes some of the finest produced homebrew games for the Vectrex. And uh, this one, Vector Pilot, is essentially Time Pilot, but vectorized. And one of my personal top games for Vectrex as well. I would give, I would put it in my top five for sure. Let's get the overlay. order vector pilot you get your choice of overlays and when i ordered last time i think uh this might have been the only one that he had left in stock it's good though but, but they're different colors right so in this one you're the red ship in the middle essentially because your ship is always in the middle and then blue and green are the colors for everything else but I don't know, I might want to get my hands on alternate overlays because I think this game is so cool. I wouldn't mind playing it in different color styles. And Jet Strike says, I've never downloaded a homebrew for any of my Nintendo consoles because I'm afraid I'll break it. Huh. Can't really comment on Nintendo. I never tried a homebrew... But uh, I don't know, I doubt it would break it. I just don't want to be legally responsible for either. <laughs> and Vector just says, Secret, so secret, not so secret, his brother helped design the game PC board and components used in his tile. Oh, cool. Components layout on the board. Nice. Actually, I wasn't aware of that. I keep losing my things. Here's my drink. Now this is a this is a game that's worth getting the the picture looking good on because it's so good. I used to be pretty good at this one. Okay. Demo mode. Here's some high scores. You can see my initials. 
<laughs> Vector pilot. Right, let's get into, uh, let's see, do I want to look at game config, button mode, it's fine, just forest fire essentially. Joystick mode. Hold on. Yeah, left, right, right. So this is basically a, do you want the to, to point the joystick in the direction that you're going, or do you want to just rotate left and right? I prefer rotating left and right. I'm actually going to swap out controllers because I like my digital controller for this game, not the analog. And Vectraxer said, as far as I know, the Tuftronic games are the first to use the two line for bank switching. Oh, cool. Even before Malbin. So basically the bank switching is a technique to squeeze out more RAM, uh, more ROM, sorry. Your cartridge can have like double the memory and you flip a switch to use one section of the ROM or the other. That's my understanding of it. Okay, let's see. All right, that's pretty good, let's go. No, it's not going to demo mode. Yeah, do the calibration, I suppose. Button one, adjust X, Y, drift. Two is adjust scale. Three is adjust screen center. Okay. So it looks pretty good so far. adjusting the camera so you get the nice effect of the bar at the top it's supposed to be multiple colors there we go i know i'm taking a long time to set up here but it's gotta look nice it's a good game <laughs> yeah The Vectrex is an interesting machine. And Vectrex says, not sliding Malbin's work on Vide or Vita, whatever. Vector Blade or any of the other titles. Malbin's stuff is also fantastic. I agree. He's, I was calling him earlier like one of the gods of Vectrex programming. I think that is true. All right, let's go with this. Uh, down yeah yeah maybe you maybe you view stuff will be in my future unboxings x let's go uh, let's go with normal aircraft type you can choose different aircraft types you can unlock them as you play the only thing is I think these two look like some of the enemies on certain levels so I'm inclined to just pick the first one that's the, the basic one that comes out of the box all right Let's do it. Man, I lost the, the color of the bar at the time. Yeah. Oh, well, I gotta just play. I think I don't have the joystick how I want it to be. Yeah, I'm using the, the bad joystick mode. I thought I had switched it to left and right. Oh, well. So this is, what I mean by that is, this is the, the time, original time plot pilot control scheme. I don't know, I really suck when I try to use that control scheme. Let me try to change it to left and right again. Left 
Left, right, left, right. I don't understand. Okay, now it's sticking. Okay, finally. Let's do it. Start game. Okay, left and right. There we go. 1910 AD. <clears throat> Where's our parachuter guys? So you get a lot of points for shooting all of the, the planes in that formation that you just saw. You get some. Oh, totally screwed up. You get a lot of points for getting the paratroopers. There's our boss, the Zeppelin. And now we warp to another time. <laughs> Vex Tractor said nice moves until you die. Yeah, I know. Thanks for the compliment, though. That big plane gives you some good points, too. Ah. This one here gives you some good points. There's another one. Got a trooper. Oh! <laughs> Crashed right into him. Boss, the big plane. Not that big plane, the other big plane. Alright. AD a bullet, <laughs> literally. Ah. Ooh. Really got to mash the buttons there. Okay. I find this game pretty intense and awesome at the same time. Get those guided missiles. Just circling around me. Get away, get away. Crap. Probably game over. I got one more. Thank.
AD 2001. In the distant future of 2001, there are alien UFOs invading Earth. Ah, and I'm walking right into their shots. <laughs> game over. All right. Cool. I do like that game quite a bit. And Vector Actor comments, I was taking beta code of Vector Pilot this game out for for public play and feedback comments before its release. Cool. Christoph has been very cool to allow this kind of activity in the past. Super nice guy. Yeah, I would love to beta test a future game of this. Probably faster going the other direction. That's my seventh best score. Yeah, Vectrexer, that's a good idea. Vectrexer recommends that I send him an email if I want to beta test a future game. Cool. Christoph Tuts. This is pretty cool, huh? The credits. I think your name is in this list here. Chris. Chris Vectrexer. <laughs> No, they're not all working, actually, Vectrex. I'll get that. I'll make it happen, though. I'm going to make it happen. Okay, I'm looking for Chris Romero here. And then we're going to try something else. There he is, Chris Romero. <laughs> That's our friend Vectrex here in the chat. All right, cool. I mean, I would... I, I could play this again. I could play this game for, like, hours, really. Except my my hand might not hold up. But, I don't know, I guess I'll move on. It's cool, you can get these... If you do really well in this game, you get these nice animations. They're like, almost like 3D animations. Kind of like what you see here in this style. But you unlock new new uh, ships. Uh, you can um, travel to the to like a Mindstorm level. Where you, you're shooting the, the things from Mindstorm. It's pretty cool. Alright. So that's some Vector Pilot. Now, guys, <laughs> my trigger says it would be interesting to take your blood pressure during gameplay. Yeah, I can also just look at my uh, my Fitbit watch and check my pulse. <laughs> uh, let's see, what should we play? Should we try a release? Uh, more Christoph Tut stuff. Hmm. I mean, I, I do have a uh, Vector Patrol, another favorite of mine. I think we got to play some of that. Vector Patrol is based on Moon Patrol. Let's do it. Do it. Thanks for joining me, by the way. Guys, it looks like there are four concurrent viewers at the moment. Not a huge crowd, but I appreciate it nonetheless. That's how my streams go, though. I have a few dedicated viewers, <laughs> and I appreciate that. If I get a huge number, it's like nine. Like, wow, I got nine people watching. Oh my god. But here's the overlay for Vector Patrol. I know we got some glare going. I'll try to show it a little bit at an angle for less glare. The idea is your your rover vehicle thing is supposed to be in this red area. Then you have green around that, blue up here, and red up here. And you have this multicolored status bar, which is a pretty which is pretty cool. Hey, Carlos is here. Carlos was our enthusiastic viewer in the Commodore streams I did in August. Good to see you here, Carlos. We're playing Vectrex tonight. This stream I do once a month. I call it Saturday Night Vectrex in the Dark because I play it on Saturday nights in the dark. <laughs> and you probably know this game, the original, Carlos. It is... um. It's based on Moon Patrol. Can't imagine you would not know this game. Vector Patrol. And 
Carla says, absolutely loving me some Moon Patrol back in the day. Awesome. I actually, the first I, the first version of Moon Patrol I probably played with on Commodore 64, I believe. Let me remind myself of the controls we have. Fire, pause, and jump. Two is pause, three is fire, four is jump. All right, let's play. They're worth calibrating, actually. Mm. It's hard to get it all to look good. That's the only thing. I'm not actually sure what the top ones are supposed to look like. I'll just go with what I can, I guess. Let's just adjust the whole screen. Just in the camera, actually, right now, the physical camera angle. All right, that's pretty good, I guess. Mm -hmm. And Carlos says the first ever experience in Chuck E. Cheese. Okay, you played the arcade version, I guess. Cool. Let's begin. I am not playing a demo course with this. I'm playing that beginner's course. Here we go. Vector patrol in the house. <clears throat> right to go as fast as possible, though it took me a few seconds to get used to the controls. I think my record for this level is literally just gunning it from the beginning, because it goes by time. So I'll probably be like two seconds behind the record. Sometimes you gotta just break too. <laughs> No record for me this time, but that's okay. All right, so Vectrecher says, wonder how much longer Sting is going to be around? And Carlos says, what happened to Sting? That's what I'm wondering, too. <laughs> and Stu says, Moon Patrol is a great game. I agree, Stu. And why don't they release Major Havoc on the Vectrex? I think I've heard some chatter about that. I bet, I bet Mr. Vectrexer here has heard that, too. And you can remember how the chatter was concluded. I don't remember that. It could be that it was just somebody just tossed the idea around or, or it was not feasible or I don't know. It's probably feasible. If this is feasible. When I want to say feasible, I mean technically feasible. Life. Oh man. 
Okay, let's see if I can catch up with the chat here. Vectrex said major havoc can be played on the Vectrex via Vec Fever. Cool. Yeah, Vec Fever is, uh, I guess, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like, I think it's like Pytrex in which you, oh, I always forget about these mines until it's too late. Basically, you can play in far more advanced games on the Vec Fever. And those things are extremely expensive. And I think that only a small run of them was ever made, perhaps. Why am I shooting? I shouldn't waste my effort trying to shoot. Ah, these mines are so horrible. I'm so horrible at them. Ah. It's all about really adjusting your speed. So you don't get screwed. I guess I just take it nice and easy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hang my head in shame. I think I can continue though. Let's continue. Ryan's probably taking clips of me freaking out here. I'm still around. Oh, mother. <sighs> One day I'll get good at those. But today is not that day. <laughs> So the low tech overlay is actually impressively effective. I agree. It's just so amazing. I'm sorry I didn't catch up with all of the chatter here. Once it gets really active and I'm playing a real time game, it's difficult to keep up. I do appreciate that the chat is very active though, for sure. Okay, now we're going uphill and there's rocks coming at us. I wonder if it's better just to jump over them really fast or I'm, I'm just taking the approach of shooting them. Get out of here, you damn UFOs. Ah. Extra life, baby. And Stu's making jokes about, I got a fever and the only prescription is Vec fever. Uh, what is it? The prescription is more Vec tracks. Cool. That makes sense. I think you can only shoot those when you're going uphill, otherwise you shoot over them. The tiny ones I'm talking about. So we gotta jump. Do 
Yeah, this is such an amazing port of Moon Patrol. I think I agree with your comment, uh, uh, with your comment, Carlos, that it looks even better in vector form. <laughs> Remember those old ads that used to be in like magazines and comic books? Hold on, what is this? I don't even know what this is. Oh, that's the end. Hey! I'll finish my thought in a moment. I think I'm going to see a cool animation now. Average time 100, so 105. Top record 90. Special bonus points 5,000. Yeah, look at this. Congrats. Controller. Look at this, this is so cool. Next course awaits. Excuse me, they never understood why they were called good bonus points. I don't know either. There's also a crappy one, yes. But yeah, my thought was, uh, there was the old ads in, um, like, comic books and magazines where it would, like, show two columns. I think it was mostly Atari games. I think I remember a Moon Patrol one as well. And, um, it would basically put you in a scenario, like, which one would get you more points? It's like, you know, Ms. Pac-Man eats this or, th or that kind of a thing. And I seem to remember one about Moon Patrol with, like, I don't know, with it, which aliens you shoot or something like that. Oh, what is this? I don't even know what this is. Oh. Did I land on it? Or did I like shoot it from behind? <laughs> I, mean, I, just, I love it. I love all the things you have to juggle, like your speed and the jumping and the shooting. I, I, Stu says that I shot it from behind and got kind of lucky. Cool, yeah. That seems about right. Good bonus points. You could, you could see me wince and shake in my head. <laughs> it's pretty tricky on this level. Oh. 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 Alright, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I probably have a continue still. I'm not sure how the continue is working. I guess I don't. Oh well. This is my second best score apparently. So I did better than this before. Yeah, if you have a Vectrex and you don't have this game, you're missing something. <laughs> like, you, you need this game. Unless you just don't like Moon Patrol for some reason. But I can continue. Yeah, I'll give it one more go. So this level might be beyond me, it's pretty crazy. Ah, shit. Alright, Carlos is heading out. Thank you for stopping by, Carlos. I appreciate it. Ah. No, 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 no! Oh. Oh. Okay. 
I would say I made that by a pixel, but hey, there's no pixels on the Vectrex. Oh, no, no, no. What is that three? I've never seen that creature before. What is that thing? You can tell I'm not like a hardcore expert at any form of moon control, because a lot of this stuff is kind of new to me. What is that? Is that an alien? Like really, I, I didn't play a ton of this back in the day. I had it for Commodore and I liked it, but I don't, I don't think I ever did that well or like got into it a huge amount. So I never like persisted hardcore at it or anything like that. Did they shoot stuff at me? Oh. These guys, the triangular guys with their craters that they make, they are obnoxious. Nah. Time to reach point J. Your time, 162. I'm sure terrible, probably. Average time, 100. Top record, 100. Sorry, no bonus. I get a crappy bonus. I expect some rocks. Yep. I think that's it for me. All right, let's call it a call it a night with not, not with the whole stream, but with uh this game. <sighs> I love it. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, I think when I came in number two here, I was saying I must have done better once before, but it looks like number one is uh, a built-in score, so that was probably my best score ever. All right, let's you know, as long as we're on a Touchtronics roll, why don't we play Vectrexians too? Vectrexians. This is probably my least favorite of the Touchtronics games. I still like it a lot, though. I mean, I would give the other two games like an A+, and this one probably a, a B+. So, as always, I must dig up the uh, the old overlay. And you bet you that I'm going to play some Eye Cyborg tonight before I go to bed. That's my ultimate Vectrex quest, to complete Eye Cyborg. I don't know, I, just, it's just, I have a thing about that game, I just... I love it, and I, I want to be able to, to own it one day. Like, own it, like, totally beat it. Beat it like the back of my hand. Figure out all those bosses. Unfortunately, I usually have a long period of time between plays, and I forget a couple of details. Dun, dun, dun. Sorry, I said it, I was confusing when I said I was calling it a night. Vectrex. I just meant, I meant, I just meant I'm finishing that one game. That's really loud. What the hell? cool effect. Vectorexians. I guess these guys are supposed to be lined up like this. Yeah. It's cool that games can have calibration like this. We are the Vectrexians mission destroy aliens. How much light do we want to leave? Not that much. Let's 
tender that a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Playing? Okay. Ah, uh, get away. I do like to shoot them when they're flying at you, you get more points that way. I think you get even more points when they're lower though, right? The lower they are. Quite flicker a lot. Maybe I can. Uh, let's try a different shutter speed. That's usually how I try to fix these things. That might look a little better. Oh, <laughs> of course, that doesn't look better. All right. See, from my from the screen to my eyeballs, there's there's very little flicker. Do that. Oh well. <laughs> One a little bit annoying thing about this game is it doesn't show you your score while you're playing. Only between levels, like it did just there, it flashed for a moment. It's really looking bad. I'm sorry, guys. I wish I could fix it. Let me fiddle again. Shutter speed. No. I'm dying because I want it to look better for you. Okay, let me just play around for a while. There's gotta be something I can do to make this better. That's pretty good, right? Yeah. Cool, that looks not horrible, I think. Cool. Yeah, let's keep playing. I might give it another go. Since I kind of lost a couple lives fiddling with the camera. <clears throat> but let's see how I can do. Thanks to whoever's still hanging out with me. It says two concurrent viewers, so I guess we just a couple of you now at this point. That's all right, though. I wonder if our man Arturo's in the house. Are you there, Arturo? Mm. Sometimes I get impatient. I just want to shoot them all. Let's just do that. Shoot them all. Shoot them all. Let God sort them out. like I should write down as a uh, as a streamer one of the few people who's recording Vectrex with their cameras it's like different games prefer different shutter speeds to avoid the blinking the blinking problem so it's almost like I should create a master list of 
the shutter speed I use for this game, for each game. Anyway, for this game, 33. One thirty-third of a second shutter speed seems to work best. Oftentimes, one fiftieth is good. Probably because that's the maximum refresh rate 50 times a second for a Vectrex, I think. So if a game can draw at that rate without having to, you know, having to, having to, if it can keep up with that rate of drawing 50 times a second, then the shutter speed of 150 is, is going to be good. But I guess this game is not able to keep up with that, just closer to something like 33rd. So 133rd second shutter speed works better. Well, you can tell it's not perfect, but it's still pretty good, I think. Unfortunately, when you do have a slower shutter speed, it makes it look less smooth, so everything's a trade-off. Mm. Extra life! Woo! Quite that was close. I think what I might do is after this stream, play some Ice Cyborg and then head to bed. It is pretty late. I gotta get my Ice Cyborg fix. Level four. I feel like I should be on like six or seven. Extra life. I mean, I did lose a couple of life due to my um fiddling with the camera, but I don't know. I feel like I got a decent amount of lives. I can just call this my my real game. <laughs> And not start again. Of course, as I said, that I lost a life. Yes, got the mothership, whatever it's called. Level five. Two lives left. Oh, I hate when they come in from the side like that. They come in really sharp. That's that's probably the worst attack they can do on you. Yeah, you get a lot more points if you hit those 
the boss guy's really low. You get 800. Normally you only get like, I don't know, two or 400. Alright. Level 6. Now I think you get a special thing if you... If you hit a... Yeah, special animation or something if you hit like a crazy level like, I don't know, 20 or something like that. I remember reading that in the manual. I doubt it'll get there though. Life. Yep, game over, player one. Too bad, so sad. Alright, that's a fine game. Yeah, what a cool intro. Well, it looks like barely anybody's here anymore. It says one viewer. Oh well. <laughs> Thanks for the for watching one viewer. If you are still there, sometimes YouTube lies to me. Uh, you know, so I, I gotta do it. I gotta play some I Cyborg as the final act of the evening. This is a game that I don't know. I have a special relationship with it. I just need to beat it. And it's very intense to me and satisfying when I do well. But I've never beaten it yet. Um, I want to use my um, real original Vectrex controller because I like that for this game a little better. The original one looks like this. All right, gonna do some eye cyborg here. Let's turn it off before taking out the cart. Always a wise thing to do. I'm not going to use the Ice Cyborg overlay because I like to mix it up. I'm going to use the Solar Quest overlay. I like it has the yellow sun in the center with the gradients that go from you know, yellow to green to blue. I think that might look cool with Ice Cyborg. I'm fishing through the bag of loose carts. I can always identify Ice Cyborg right away because it's my only white cartridge. This is 3D printed by my friend. I've told this story a lot, so you might be bored of it if you've heard it before, but basically my friend surprised me in 2019, I guess, I guess, with some uh, 3D printed carts. And I had a bunch of these boards from FuryUnlimited.com. They were called the budget games. That's what he was calling them. And they were just the board. So, he, so my friend got me these carts that he 3D printed at his own home. And yeah, I just put the boards in there. And now I have these cool carts. I had to make my own labels though. So I have to make some adjustments. Time for I Cyborg. But I forgot to switch the controller. Let me do that. Ding, boom, 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 boom. Some people call this game a first-person shooter. Kind of right-ish. I wouldn't call it that, though. I don't know. It just has to be seen. There's a puzzle element to it. Uh, you're not usually shooting too many... Well, you are. Mostly you're avoiding like these trap-like things more than you're shooting enemies. But there are some enemies to shoot as well. Um, yeah, definitely a puzzly aspect to it. You have to figure out how to handle different hazards that are thrown at you. Okay. Another focus. 
Looking pretty good. All right, you ready for some eye cyborg action, people? Or person, since there's only one person watching. Guess it is pretty late. Now you can use passcodes to start at levels other than one, but I like to kind of go with it uh, from the beginning if I haven't played in a long time. That's what I need to do this. Yeah, let me out of here. Oh no, no, I don't want to accidentally enter the code for a non, a non level one. I cyborg. Not a robot, I cyborg. George Polonius, 2004. All right, let's do it. So you have these three buttons, look right, look left, and shoot. And if you hold look while you shoot, you shoot in that direction. Pretty straightforward. You press up to walk forward. trap things you just have to get lucky they shoot either the left center or right there's no reasoning with them there's no outsmarting them these things you can time so that you don't get hit by them boom, 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 boom. thanks for the seven likes people it's always a lot for me, my meager stream, my, my humble, my small stream. So let me, uh, I feel like we got a lot of wasted space. Let's zoom in a little bit. It's a little better, right? time on a, doing a stream of Vectrex filling with the camera. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. Walked into that one. I think we're about to get hit with the spinning discs. These things are one. Spinning blades, I mean, not these. There's spinning blades that are about to come and they just insta kill you. There we go. I'm gonna make this lower. Don't wanna wake up the little one. Hardest things of the first level is juggling between these spinning sunflower guys and the spinning blades. But that's that's just getting you warmed up. That's getting, that's getting you acquainted with the, the combination of those two traps. And that was when it gets really hard. Quarter three and four. Four is the worst. Themselves, those sunflower thingies aren't hard at all.
Corridor 4. This is where they really hammer you with the one-two punch of the sunflowers and the spinning blade. Sometimes I don't get past this, even though I've done it a lot of times. Oh, of course the lightning had to strike me. Just to make it harder. Again? Jeez. Please not again. Come on, come on. Okay. Here we go, the juggling has begun. The juggling act. Trying not to get hit by the insta-kill spinning blade. Well, hopefully not taking small amounts of damage from the sunflowers, as I call them. Ah. Lightning is being very mean to them. Three hits. I really don't need those hits. at me again, lightning. Come on, come on. Okay. He's gonna shoot right, though. He saw that shot right. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh. Please don't get me lightning. Oh god, that was so Alright. It gets harder, Phil. It's time for the boss fight, that's right. This is your cool special weapon for when you're fighting bosses. Shoot into the air with the, the button, and you make it explode by pressing the button again. Excuse me. He's not aiming in the middle of him. I think I can get him though. Yeah. yeah. And that is level one. Level two is in the trenches. Should we let a little bit more light into the camera? So you can see the background at least. Ooh. 
Walking along the trench. Walking along the trench. The hip fire comet thingy. Whatever these things are. Leeches? Flying leeches? I feel like the damn camera right now. Whatever. figured out how to beat the spider without taking one, at least one damage. Now I have to deal with these guys that come down and laser me. tired and losing it. Four. Then we fight the binary boss. Binary orbs. They can be challenging. But I've beaten them before. Multiple times now, actually. so much. No, get away, mother. Yeah. 
How much more is left to this? I think I can take another spider. Oh crap. Get him with one life on the fourth stage of a level. What a game. Oh, I like this game. It really keeps you on edge, and you know, that's the kind of thing I like. A game that's overcomable, but it keeps you right on the edge of dying. Let's go. Okay, it's boss time. Binary orbs. I can handle these guys. Let's get back our zoom to normal. I think that's making it look a little weird. Mm, I don't know. I gotta focus now. Looks good still. The binary orbs. Show yourself. Can I get the hang of this again? Okay. Did not hit him. Take a breather and shoot straight up. Oh, 
。Yeah! ちっちゃい。It's the first time in a long time I beat both levels back to back, first two levels. So I'm pretty excited about that. Okay. On to level three, which I, I think I've never beaten. Level three. Gotta get, remind myself of the traps here. You have this wall that comes in and then it just goes away when you pull back a step. What else is there? There's these, uh, shoot, what is there? Guess I'll be reminded short, shortly enough. That's right, fireballs. And these things, they slow down tremendously while you're pulling back. And it gives you maneuverability. It gives you time to, to move. Gallery two. Get ready for fireballs and that wall thingy. All I have to do is tap back on the joystick once and it's gone. But the problem is if it touches you, it's insta kill. Insta death. So both of these traps have a, a weakness if you pull back. Of course, you have to move forward to complete the level, so you harm yourself in a sense by pulling back too much. <clears throat> Getting close there. Crazy game, I love it. I wish I had a cheering squad. It's, it might be my best run yet so far. Nice, hope. <clears throat> However, I could die in any moment. It's not the farthest I've gotten, but it, I think it might be the best solid run from the beginning. Now, I've gotten to, I think, phase four of the gallery, and I'm on th phase three now. I might have only gotten to three, I'm not sure. Yeah, this gets crazy. I'm trying to remember if I ever have to shoot anything on this level, the gallery. Oh yeah, these things. I've definitely gotten to these stitch pattern thingies. I don't know what you call it. Or the waffle fries. I guess I'm gonna call them the waffle fries. I like to have names for these things. Oh, I'm gonna have to juggle the fireballs, the killer wall, and the waffle fries. Not easy, not easy. I expect some fireballs. 
just, just get a feeling for it, you know. Like, what are they going to throw at me next? Probably more fireballs. Fireball. Whoa. Somehow I thought it was at the end. Nope, no fireball. Those are pretty well animated, I gotta say. I think this is the farthest I've gotten. I don't think I've ever gotten to the boss. Let's see if I can do it tonight. If not, then uh, another time perhaps, because it is 1 a.m. here. <laughs> just those same three traps really walloping me. I think it's just going to be the same three traps walloping me. But we shall see. Here come the fireballs, I bet. I smell fireballs, yep. What they try to do is with the fireballs, once you know it's going to miss you, you want to gain as much ground as you can by pressing forward, but they throw the walls of death on you while you, while you should be doing that, so that it limits the amount of ground you can gain. Well, at least makes it awkward, you have to hit down for a second to pull back. fries. Fireballs I expect. Yep. I smell the fire. Polonis is an evil genius. I love this game. Waffle fries. It can't be over yet. I feel like it's gonna be more still. More fireballs coming. All right. So this should be the boss now. 
Unless it like deviates from the usual pattern of four stages. Followed by a boss. I'm a little nervous because usually when you fight the boss for the first time it ain't easy. Here we go. Victoria. What is this? Hold on, look at this. It's different. If I hold it, it'll veer to the left a little bit? Sometimes the right. Is it the last direction I've looked? No. I don't know what controls that thing. If I just tap it, it goes straight up. If I hold it, it veers a little bit. Alright, it's a little tricky. I don't know what determines which direction it goes. I guess nothing does. You got some waffle fries to deal with still, okay. I'm scared of this boss. Here he is, probably. Probably gonna die here. But this will be my best run ever, so... It's all good. Here he is. What is that? Is it a person? That's like a spaceship. I feel like I'm not close enough to be engaged in battle yet. Look at that, I can't actually make it explode earlier. Alright, let's go, I guess. He makes waffle fries up here. How am I supposed to dodge them? Crap. level three boss um it felt like anytime he launched one of the waffle fries to one side if i was standing on the opposite side i would be fine however uh there are too many cases you know instances when he would be shooting from the same side i was already on and then I, there was no way for me to evade him at that point so, yeah, that's that. That's the farthest I've ever gotten, though, so that's satisfying. I have to think about that boss and try again next time. Maybe I'll play offline even. I don't usually do that, though. I usually just play on the stream. All right, let me wrap it up. It looks like nobody's actually watching anyway. Or there's one person, I'm not sure which. But uh, time to wrap it up. And that was another exciting episode of Saturday Night Vectrex in the Dark. Yeah, the uh, schedule is always, um, well, usually the first Saturday of the month is Vectrex time. This month in September, I'm playing on uh, September 10th, which was the second um, Saturday, simply because I was busy with other things last week. But yeah, stay tuned for next month's October Saturday Night of Vectrex in the Dark, which I should be playing on the first Saturday. And except for that, with the exception of that Vectrex in the Dark, all my other Saturday Night October streams, I plan to play um, board games. Horror-themed horror board games. I have, an, I have the Living Dead board game. I have some other cool stuff. That's my intention. Yeah, I know my channel is all over the place, and I like it that way. I play video games, board games, game books, new games, old games, etc., etc., but that's all I got for tonight, guys. Thank you for everybody who watched live. I think I'm talking to nobody right now, but I might be talking to somebody who's watching after the fact. Maybe my my top watcher after the fact, my top watcher of the archived streams, Anthony. Maybe he'll be watching that. Maybe Arturo's watching now. He's sometimes silent. I don't know. But as usual, I do want to sign off with our favorite friend in the Vectrex world. Uh... He's an animated friend, and he is going to be the musician who plays us off. That, that is the tradition of the Vectrex stream, Saturday Night Vectrex in the Dark. 
So let's load him up from the Sean Kelly multi-card. So play us off, Mr. Cantina. Star Wars Cantina guy. It's playing us off by Chris Malcolm. Also known as Chris Binary Star. I think that's the same guy. <laughs> See you next month, everyone.